Oh, I should drink some tea. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I should have made some tea, but I'm frying chicken. <laughs> we had the same thought process, except the chicken. Hey guys, I know it's been a while. It's been a minute. I I need this distraction. I was I was missing you. I'm drinking green tea with lemon and honey. Oh my god, and I'm all out of green tea. Did you check out Black Girl Curls? No, I actually didn't check it out. So we can actually check it out first. However, we're going to let everyone uh, jump on um, in the next couple of minutes or so. No, we're not watching Sindal. We're not even, we're not even going to mention her. She's old news. Um, we're just going to watch some hair videos. This has been, um, there's been one person in particular, I think, and she's been relentless we're asking me to do this live stream. You know who you are. But um I I did miss being on here. Um I've actually been missing in action because I've been uh I've been dealing with a lot actually these past few months. I'm not gonna go too much in detail with it, but um I've been dealing with dysandrotic eczema on my hands so um it's been giving me issues with working and things like that so um i actually went to the dermatologist earlier earlier this week yeah a couple days ago actually um so yeah that's really why i have y'all haven't seen me like stream doing hair at the salon or anything like that so um but we're going to go ahead and get started. Somebody wanted me to check out this particular person. And let me uh let me boost this up. Zoom in. Oh, why you got me watching him? Why you got me watching him? I got eczema too. Who, who, hold up, who was it that requested this? Chica. See, look. I I only tried to watch one video of theirs. And it was the one where they were like trying to bash hair grease for natural hair. And I was like, I literally sat there and tried to watch it, but I was just like, I mean, I just, I really can't sit here and believe what you're saying when your hair looks bad dry. But you know what? It is what it is. What, which, which one do you, do we want to watch today? Um, their videos seem to be on the longer side. Let's see. Do they have anything of substance worth listening to? Wash and go tutorial. Not in a minute and 26 seconds. Product chat with texture versus race. Uh, I don't know who that is. So from what I gather, they do kind of like this little podcast situation where they just kind of get on and, and have discussions um, on topics related to natural hair. Uh, lose your fear of coloring your natural hair. When did clay become a natural hair cleanser? I don't really know who these who these ladies are. Um. Dysandrotic eczema, I'm a nurse, have, you haven't heard of it or you have heard of it? Uh, 
<laughs> Excuse me, y'all. If I start to just, I'm I'm dealing with allergies, so. What they got going on here? This was a year ago. The Black Curl Magic Tour. Real Salon Stories episode. I don't really see anything of interest that just jumps out at me. Your imaginary force here. Let me just let me just see what they got to say. Let me just we see. We wrote an article that went viral and sparked a natural hair revolution. We are Elise and Aisha, moms to small humans, digital content creators, licensed hairstylists, brand agnostic, curl educators, and generally your snarky girlfriends with no filter. We're two women from the south side of Chicago taking the stupid out of natural hair. What? That didn't even make sense. Episode. Of curls disrupted. What is 4C hair? Like, really? What is 4C hair? Who created it? And why are we. <sighs> that intro was trash. Oh! <sighs> Now y'all know, y'all know I don't like, I don't like talking about people's appearance. But what's what's going on with her hair though? Like for real, like what is this? What like is that a braid? Is that a a twist? Like what is that? And why does it look like uncooked ramen noodles? Maybe that's her curl pattern. Okay. Committed, wholeheartedly committed to being 4C. All I know is somebody said, and who is somebody? <laughs> somebody, everybody, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> who? No, real talk. We, um, being behind the chair, we get so many people coming in the salon. It's like we sit down, we have our consultation. It's more of a conversation for us. It's not really a consultation. It's a conversation. Well, it's consultation and conversation, same thing, because we want to know about your hair, your experiences with your hair, and what your expectations are of your hair. Yeah, and we usually ask, like, so tell me about your hair. So do and they work together? Someone has 4C hair. And I'm going to use air quotes. 4C. They start the conversation, well, my hair is 4C. And you're like, and this is us. <laughs> Naughty. Just not like, okay. okay. Yes, can, I touch, can I touch your hair? Like, <laughs> so th this is 4C to you, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so we have, I, I, and I can't tell you how many times I've been on Instagram. There are whole pages dedicated to 4C so, hair. And when I go through the pages... I, I'm like this, like I'm just like it, tight. It gives it me my anxiety. Like it makes me tight. I have anxiety and it makes my, like my breath starts to get short. <laughs> I, my shoulders start to rise. I'm tight. My head starts to hurt. I'm just tight. We two minutes in and I'm, I'm just not like, why, why are they so pressed? What are they so pressed about? What are they so pressed? That's like me getting on here and being impressed about your ramen noodle hair. Like, why why are they so pressed because somebody wants to call their hair for a seat? I'm not understanding. Because everything I scroll through, I see it. And I'm like, oh, my God. If these people on this page use shampoo every seven to ten days, condition with, like, amazing, emollient, rich conditioners, and used, used one to two stylers to make a hairstyle happen, this hair would not be doing this. So let's talk about what, what is 4C and where this whole number letter bullshit, sorry if there's kids listening, bullshit began. Because 4C, 2A, 3B does not exist in Milady Standard Cosmetology. Pivot point. It does not exist in the Aveda Cosmetology textbook. Because I have both. I have All both written by white people. So of course it wouldn't exist. But, right now, you know. And I'm the most current person from school. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been it's been 13 years since I graduated. I'm, so I'm the most current. And even in my cosmetology books, there was no such thing we, that existed. I, we were actually just told that it was introduced in the UK. Oh. Into books. So it sounds like the profession is trying to follow what the consumers are doing. So let's talk about oh, where no. this started. So 
we gonna we gonna let them Ms. we gonna give Oprah, them a chance. Ms. Wonderful Oprah Winfrey, her stylist wrote a book. Now I have read that passage. When I say read it, it was years ago. I don't even know the name of the book anymore. But he started trying to classify hair into what we as categories. Like categories based on the diameter of the curl. So, what do you mean by diameter of the curl? Because some people might not understand when you say okay, that. Okay, so diameter curl means how big that curl actually is. It a, is it a big loop like this? Is it a small, tiny coil like a pin coil? Is it like a coffee stir? Is it a tight, tight S? Is it a tight, tight O? So more of the shape of the actual curl pattern. There's a word for these two, but it's eluding me right now. Because honestly, like... When you start to really look at hair from a different perspective. Okay, all right. I see why. I see why their videos are so long. They talk about nothing for like the majority of the video. Um. All right. So I am open to any and all suggestions for videos. Um. What y'all want to look at? Because I'll be honest, I ain't really been watching hair videos like that. So I don't even know, like, the videos are actually podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. I get I get that stir, their, uh, their layout, their formula, their videos. Dandruff scratching. Why are we? Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and get this out the way. Let's get this out the way. I don't know what kind of kick y'all get out of this stuff, but um, this is gross. Um, ew, 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 ew. And you know, I deal with dandruff on a regular, but um, that's like I don't deal with that. Like I don't deal with that. No, no, no. There's been a bunch of people who like they're like, oh, I just love watching people scratching off their danger. I just want to see what the hype is, cause to be honest, I, I mean, I never seen it. So danger scratching during quarantine. Okay, let me, ew, this is, ew. Oh my God, why are y'all, okay. And you know, danger really is a, a issue for some people and it's something that they can't help. It's really just, um, you know, like a chemical imbalance with their scalp. Okay, let's let's try this one. Let's try this one. What is what is this supposed to do? What is this supposed to do? This makes me want to wash. This makes me want to. This looks like you want to wash, like just jump in the shower. I want to take a bath. I want to just soak. Okay, someone, someone really just, someone please tell me like what, what is, what is the point of this? Like, what is the objective? Because I'm not really understanding. Like, because she's sitting here scratching at it, but. No matter how much he scratches, it's just gonna keep coming up. So Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. I know. I know. Some of y'all get a kick out of this. I don't. I don't get a kick out of this. I don't even. I don't even do this for a living. Thank you, Dante. I don't even do this for a living. Let me tell you what I do. Okay, 
let me tell y'all what I do. Um, when we get new clients that come in, um, first thing we do is a hair and scalp analysis, okay? We go through, we part the hair, make sure that, um, you know, the hair is fine, the scalp is fine, there isn't, like, any abrasions, open sores, uh, we examine the scalp to see if there's like dandruff or some other situation going on. Sometimes it be mold, it be pus, it be blood, it be all types of stuff that be going on. And people says you don't know until you open it up and you look. Um, in the event that I have a client who has a situation like this, I'm not going to be going through and scratching your scalp. Number one, it's really abrasive because your scalp is already sensitive. Um, literally what dandruff is, it's literally just an accelerated... Um, an accelerated growth of the skin where your skin is literally shedding uh, faster or more quickly than normal. And so what you need to do is use some type of medicated shampoo situation, either like a T-Sal or uh, a Nizoral or uh, Sulfur 8, something. You need something medicated. Sitting here scratching it, that's not... That's not helping you. That's not helping your, your scalp. That's not helping your dandruff. It ain't doing nothing for you. So um, we literally do a medicated shampoo scalp treatment. And what I will do, I will literally take a boar bristle round brush. And the way the same way she's parting her hair, I'll, I'll first go in and get a good lather on the scalp with the medicated shampoo. I'll take the, the round brush, the boar bristle, and I will literally like massage the shampoo at the scalp so that it, first off, the, the shampoo does all the work for you. So there's no point in you doing all of this because if you literally let the medicated shampoo do what it's going to do, it's going to pull all that stuff off anyway. But if people want to just post this in so people can look at it and get off to this, then y'all have fun with it. But I mean, if you really try to do something productive for your dandruff, like you need to treat it. Like you, you need to treat it. Like, cause th this ain't doing nothing. I can't, I can't sit with this. All right. Whew. All right. What's, what's, what's next? Cause I can't. That's, that's as much as I can take. How often do you need to use the medicated shampoo? I would say as often as you uh, shampoo your hair. Don't use head and shoulders. Please don't use head and shoulders. I know some people like, oh, head and shoulders work for me. Don't use head and shoulders. Get you like, like. Because I'll be honest, head and shoulders, I really see it work for too many people of color. Some people manage to, like, slip through the cracks or whatever. But you you need some sulfur. So you need some Nizoral. You need some T-Sal. You, you need something else. That ain't, that ain't cutting it. Male grooming. Um, can you be a little more specific? There's a lot hairstyle by Edith. I think I just watched her not too long ago. Barber video. Okay, look. Um, oh, hey, hold up. I got you here. I got you. Oh, we got a lot of um suggestions. Da, 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 da. What if you have eczema or psoriasis? They have they have shampoos for that. There's ways to treat it, but scratching is definitely not it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's some shampoos out there that literally it smells like strong tar, but it it works. Um, Tim Faze. I don't even know what to type. Okay, I'm gonna just put barber and. Maybe tutorial, I guess. Hmm. He paid two hundred for this haircut, faded beard, barber tutorial. Oh, this is a long video. Okay. I'm curious to see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm that shit down. Calm that shit down.
I'm I'm curious to see what two hundred dollars at the barbershop will get you. So to kick this video off, I go in with my gold comb and I'm combing everything but the grain, getting everything to lay and prepare to trim the hair down. My client was supposed to wear a do-rag, but he did not wear his do-rag. So as you guys can see, this hair is all over the place, but we're going to get it together today. So please lock in, focus up with me. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get this money. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I go in with a number two guard and that's with the grain on my end is ZR2s and I'm just keeping everything consistent. Uh, he's speaking a whole nother language. I don't know what he's talking about right these now. Clippers. These clippers give you no room for error. You have to take your time. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. You got to keep everything consistent. And before anything, don't hurt the client. If you dig into the hair. Ooh, look at him with the gloves. The okay, okay like gloves. Snatching the hair. So just take your time. Keep everything consistent. As you guys can see, the waves is popping out. I promise you, if y'all sit and get to the end of this video, y'all gonna know what time it is. The type of bag that I'm gonna hop Okay, in let me let me video, let me speed this up. Is he... pressure, we finna okay, yeah, yeah, I, I feel you, bro. Huh? Oh, I'm coming. Alright, I'll be right back. Sit tight.
All right. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm back. Hold up. Hold on, let me make sure the situation. Okay, all right. Sorry for the, uh, oh. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so um, I don't know if this is legit or not. I just got off the phone with my sister who um, teaches abroad. And um, she was basically telling me that they are getting ready to quarantine the U.S. And so um, she was saying something about they're getting ready to have the National Guard posted up. And they're going to, like, literally shut down the whole country and have us on, like, quarantine for, um, she said, like, a few weeks or a couple weeks or something like that. So, I, like I said, I don't know where she got this information from. She's like, oh, it's, she, she saw it on Facebook. I'm like, well, that could mean anything. But you know what? I'm not going to take my chance with that. So, tomorrow I am going to be um, going to the store um gathering up what i can because um i don't know just because it just seemed like it's getting more and more serious and so yeah but she's she's over in the middle east so she said um she hears about things about the u.s before before we do or something like that i don't know i don't know but just look just 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 try to be prepared just in case the well, National Guard isn't large enough to keep the whole That's what I was saying. So I was like, I wanted to be like, girl, what is you talking about? I was like, I need to get back to my live stream. I ain't got time for this. But either way to go, I still need to go to the store anyway. But mm. all right. Um, but I don't know I I don't know a shampoo for psoriasis. I haven't dealt with anyone who has psoriasis, so I can't really speak on that. I would really talk to your uh, dermatologist about that. But, um, yeah, all right. Let's keep going. On my Andes Fade Masters in the Crown area, all because detachable blades at times can nick and yank hair from other places. Oh. Um, so you want to go in with a guard just so you can have more room to be free from. And as you guys can see. I'm so glad I ain't got to go to the barbershop no more. Something and get majority of that hair down to that desired length without destroying the crown. That is the biggest thing on wave of haircuts. Do not be no crown killer. Take your time and make sure that you're cutting that hair in a pattern that is growing because the calic will not grow all in the same pattern. So I go in with my gold FXs and I break into the back of my neckline at least an inch into the taper because we will be doing a higher taper today. So if you guys just focus in, I promise, man, this is going to be one of them ones. I go in completely clothes with my end is master and I'm starting to nudge at this line and I just want to make sure that I keep everything consistent without overly pushing in my guideline and without cutting enough hair because I feel like that's a mistake that a lot of people make we don't go up high enough in our taper or open our guidelines up I don't know what guys. this man is I'm talking about here doing my second guideline in the back of the neck taper keeping everything consistent flicking in and out making is, sure is this supposed to be cutting an angle like this no matter what is he trying to that, 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 Make a design. 2019. That was our. That this is a part of our year. Consistency is a part of my game. Before Can I start your locks? Yeah, of course. You Are you a barber? I most certainly am not. And no, no way of shape. I most certainly am not. Open with my Andes masters, and I'm flicking out, keeping everything consistent. I'm trying to see. Everything is systematic. Okay. See, he's he's he's, he's working it up. Okay. Don't pull my one sixteenth here, as you guys can see, and I'm blending out this last panel, and I will bring this together with everything that's already tapered. So as you guys seen that I was opening, I'm dropping my lever slowly but surely, just so I could create my gradient. Scene. My area and um. Who knew fading took so much work? Like on a waiver, you have to lightly take away the bolt. You can't really dig into it because once that hair is gone, you have nothing else to work with. So I go in with my gold effects and I'm just hitting the sideburn area 
in a round circle. Oh, I like the sideburns. I look to this taper, then I go in completely open with my end as masters, giving myself about a half inch of a guideline just so I could create myself a nice size panel for me to blow out. What? Then I go in completely <laughs> close with my end as master slowly. I think mean, he sounds like he know what he's talking about. Way here getting everything consistent and we almost blended out as you guys wow it's so much detail to this gradient C. I thought I, 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 caught I caught that too I caught that too I was like you know what you know, stop even if the hair is cut and I'm completely closed right here and as you guys I ain't even gonna say nothing about this just nudging at the line with the corner of my blade I'm not doing too much work because you want to create your own theory and everything becomes systematic to you to a sense and that's what I'm talking about when I say uh, 2019 year the creators we want people to come with a whole different soft flavor flair all of that like you want everybody to be in a bag solely just because it's, it's 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 too many flavors in this world for anybody to say that they got the game you know by the neck it's impossible to possess what is he talking about what is he every, talking about you know, every skill set of the game you can work <laughs> on it and you can further education and that's what it's about furthering education Staying consistent with yourself, investing in yourself. Okay, you okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. Throughout all of your situations and always remaining astute no matter what. That's how you grow in barbering. Remaining astute is what created this animal in me. And me putting up shots non stop is what built consistency and repetition in my game. I ain't. Can we, can we just. I'm gonna just. Okay. Assistant, you want this haircut as late as possible. How do we how do we get to talking about him? I'm not, I'm not understanding. Because you want to show sauce flavor and flair, then I hit the back of the yes, sauce. This is very, very, very Come necessary. Through, sauce. As I stated in previous videos, everything is set up, you know, for the haymakers like in boxing. They get set up combos that, that 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 go into hooks or that go into a nice power shot. This is my combo. Or this is my setup for my haymaker. I'm slowly but surely putting in reference points before I get to the motherland that's what it's about this is how I set myself up for is he a hotel is he like woke or something I'm just trying to figure out what like what's going on I'm, I'm trying to it's hard enough for me following following this this uh this cut but uh, oh let me give a shout out okay I want to give a shout out to one of the uh, one of the uh, supporters of the channel. They actually sent me a whole Brita filter. I haven't bought bottled water in months. I am officially converted. I love my filter so much. Thank you so much. And now I don't have to destroy the planet with all that plastic that i wasn't recycling so it works or the consistent look and the precise and the symmetrical look you have to repeat the same steps that you put on one side on another side just so you can create the symmetrical flow and as you guys can see i go on the back of the beard line keep everything consistent making sure that this line is just straight Ooh, that possible. line is crisp so though we have an amazingly framed out you know haircut then I oh go this in this this will make it or break it to get what you about to do and then i'll use that as my reference point and i'll take it all the way to the left all because he got lighter hair so i don't want you guys to think you have to dig into that lighter hair go across that lighter hair as if that hair is fuller you want to be able to portray a clean wait look what taking somebody back and you kind of want to you know get a gist of what the lining will look like just in case you have to take them back it's always safe you know to leave more hair and you know work with the line that you got now Opposed to dig into the hair, Ooh, trying to he fix kind of thin it around the sides, but... you know, too far back. The average barber would have took this further back because of the light spots, but you don't need to. That is the whole point about finesse and, and becoming, you know, a barber. You kind of tend to see things, you know, in a different light the more you put up your shots. And because the line what? is my favorite thing, I know for a fact I wouldn't have to dig into the light spots. I'll take it as easy as possible. I'm playing as fair as possible. I'm tapping and going, and I'm not applying a lot of pressure. 
on my clippers to the client head because my clippers are very sharp. They can handle this job on a oh own. My the objective God. is just to put the clippers in a place and not give off a lot of pressure. You let the clippers do all of the work that they're meant to do. Why won't well, he bring? The the <laughs> he talks clipper. like someone who has been in prison for average, years. You know, the average barber or consumer that picked up this clipper. So this clipper does not need a lot of weight distributed to it when you apply in the line and do not press your lines and you just let everything naturally come to you and you're able to get the Chicago season and everything else. So I go in with my boy Sean cuts hair, coloring hair. How long does that stuff last? And I'm going in with my product, the Beam Team Coolers Compressor, assisting it with our other product, uh, No Drip. And I'm basically going in and I'm spraying at a three to four inch radius and I'm keeping everything consistent. I don't really see the difference. See okay. The my finger and I'm spraying them spurts because you don't want to overly apply this color and you don't want to add too much color. When you have a light spot okay so he just he just spray it in if you overly apply it in a light spot so you kind of got to learn your checks and balances with applying color not but checks and balances my what's with the pencil what's, what's the pencil for pencil. and i'm basically sketching you know a line over my line of concealing the line of like women they will go in they'll color the eyebrow and after they color the eyebrow you know they'll go in and conceal the eyebrow and that's my objective my what? objective is just to apply what i see in another the industry in mind and make it work as best as possible God, and, you know, and shapes, I cannot you know, I cannot show a level of just cut the man hair the has never seen so I go in with my gold effects where's the, the ladder because he he reaching again he so reaching right now he's he's staying eyebrow, reaching go in with a blending brush and basically blend the conceal or the concealer out so it's not too harsh Why? The as you guys can see niggas is wearing makeup on their hair now all of that wasn't even necessary. All you had to do was like just line the man up and let him walk about the door. Now you you add a concealer. I'm just ah uh, what they doing too much. All this you know, okay. All right. I'll just be replacing. Stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane. My trimmers and as you guys can see the spread and the consistency in the barber magic pencil once i hit it as it's he going in again and it shows that contrast that's what i'm here for i'm here for the looks that you can't get in the average shop i'm here to be able to take some of the cleanest pictures possible and i'm also here to install confidence in any human being that sit in my chair when i signed up for barber i signed up for life change and i didn't sign up to be the nicest with my hands i signed up for <laughs> lives. i signed up to Oh, this guy! This this guy! That has he, no, he need no, to, no max. Like the potential is through the roof. It is he, a he, he need to do like some motivational that speaking that, or something. That barbering is just not picking up clippers and cutting hair. There's so many factors that go into barbering that make people great barbers. You know, create your recipe. And then people will be able to test your flavor out. That's what it's about. You have to be able test to test flavor out. everything that you produce in the shop because that is a, a, a walking image of your hands. It's a walking image of what you do every a day. A walking My image of your oh, hands. He's shaving the nose hairs. Heads. If you see me, like I do it all. The objective is to get the client as clean as possible. And as you guys can see, we in that bag. I go in with that Tomb 45 triple cartridge razor. I'm stretching the skin, angling the razor at a 40. 45 degree angle bringing everything back to the line and as you guys can see it's nasty we're not even near like this is just the first lap like this is our first lap around the line but with the whisk we go in with a whisk and dust everything off and we repeat the same steps because the first time you do something it may look clean or okay, okay oh, but it's man. not this it. is, i put up the shot multiple this is times. a lot repetition this is, is key the more you shoot the shot the more comfortable you're gonna get and the more times that shot drop it's gonna be something added to your arsenal. Niggas, Just remember, niggas man, be so up, extra. Hashtag TBT is Glacier Gang. We in the building. Hashtag. Nigga, that you that just cutting some hair. Everybody like, calm down. You cutting some hair. Calm down. Gang. 2019 year, the creators. Everybody that's been a part of every hashtag movement. I love it. 
I love it and I can't even express to you guys how much that I love it just because I've been applying so much pressure with the videos I've been consistently dropping my videos and it's only to get you guys reactions and you guys feedback you guys deserve every bit of my information that come from me you guys deserve every bit of my effort like <sighs> Are we done? Are we done? Game. No games at all. In the imperfect world, we do get uh, that come I'm not, like this. They did what are we not doing with that? that? No. What, what, are, what, are we, what are we doing with that? You, he's not finished. He's Here, not he's finished. All over the place. Oh, and that was the before. That was the before. Okay. All right. Team, all right. This is how right. we get out. Hashtag TBT. It's the Bean Team. Lock in. Focus up. Strap in. Let's get this money. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Okay. You're not going to get the crust up off of me? Like, it just look kind of crusty. Is it me? Is it me? Like, like y'all see uh, like all it is? Like, can you wipe that off? Like, it just, it's not... Like, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly like w where he's going with this. Um, I don't know, me, I probably just would have blended that in a little bit more. Like, maybe, maybe that's what he wanted. I don't know. Maybe that's what he wanted. Um, I don't really like the the shape. Are we are we rocking a goatee? Are we going for a full beard? Like, are we trying to let it catch up? Like, I'm I'm just trying to understand, like, what's happening. But I just, I'm not really digging the facial hair. But hashtag glass. We in the building. We ain't playing no games. It's 2019. This year the creators. Why why are we? Why don't we clean that up? I just don't. Is, is that supposed to be like the fresh, fresh straight out the barbershop look? Cause I just I. Do you, do you got some alcohol? Like don't the alcohol catch that? Cause don't you have, you got to go up with the alcohol after, right? So. Uh, okay. All right. And may God bless. Look at that! Look at that! Gifts to some beauty blender! <laughs> I mean, but outside of that, I mean, he was, he was cool. I'm not... I'm not extremely impressed, but you know, it's better than what I could do. Um, all right, comment section, let's see. $200 better, covered the haircut for six months straight. He's consistently staying consistent by consistently saying he's keeping everything consistent. They don't even charge that much on GTA San Andreas. I came for the title and stayed for the speech. I know this man gives his son a 15-minute motivational before he has to school every morning. This video should be called What Goes Through a Barber's Mind When They Give You a Haircut. 200 for a tape, a taper, tapper, and beard trim. I'm gonna head out. Learn to cut y'all own hair. That's the move. Bruh got finessed out of $200. Meanwhile, Buddy gonna take a shower and his hairline and light up gonna wash off. <gasps> oh no. Right, people talking about. 
you not just paying for the cut, you paying for the experience and the environment. Motherfucker, I didn't come here to eat Skittles, watch TV, drink a bottle of water, and watch you joke with a nigga across the room for two hours. I came here to get my hair cut and get on with the rest of my day. For 200 it better be a bad bitch in the back. <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what in the world? Oh, okay. Oh, I did not just read that. Imagine him talking like this the whole time he cutting you. He got finessed. You can get that same cut for 20 in my city. The cut is clean, but if I ever got out of a barber chair for a cut and he said 200, we scrapping. Somebody ass getting beat even if it's mine. <laughs> that haircut didn't come with a wash. His waves got flakes in them. Oh, that's a good point. Imagine spending 200 on a cut and still can't pull. Dang, he really rapping, bro. This a whole Dream Chaser album. Besides all the negative comments, it is nice to see someone actually teaching as young men how to create and do positive things with our adult time. 200 is a lot, but most important thing is learning instead of selling drugs and getting locked up. I mean, can't you do both? And making a career out of it. What, damn, can you use some, like, some syntax, some punctuation? Like, you starting sentences off with and? Like, so negative comments that I see, say to yourself, can I do that? I know I can't, but I would like to learn. And that right there is a lot of money to be make. And it's staying positive. Uh, he paid 200 for something that will only last a week. That's a 30 cut at best. And by the way, how many times does one have to have their hairline lined up? Okay. So, even though he got hella likes on the video, it's a lot of crazy, a lot of crazy comments. Um... Uh, I, I didn't know niggas was paying $200 for their haircuts. I see why he went so long in between his haircuts. All right. Um, somebody said, man weave. Okay, let's, since we on, this, on the topic, let's go ahead and just check out the man weave unit. Okay. Oh, can you spell, bitch? Can you type? Can you type? My, my fingers slid off the home key. Don't judge me. Uh, what the hell? Oh, uh, what is it? What is this? What is this? What's going on, YouTube? It's the Fit Barber. Today, we're going to be doing a man unit. I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I get it to look so natural. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do to get that natural look and how to get that synthetic hair to blend in perfectly with their hair. Um, I already yeah. have them gutted out. It do look good. I can't tell. You guys are ready? Let's get started, man. Okay, first things first. I want to start by cleaning his scalp, guys. So I'm going to grab my bay room. Same thing I used after the haircut. And I'm going to clean his scalp with it. Next what? Step, Wait. I'm going to start by Did you shave his head like that? Of no sweat. And I like using this product because it actually helps prevent his scalp from sweating so Ooh. much. And that's going to preserve the lifespan. Isn't that a bad thing? Next up, I want to give me a Doesn't your body need to, and I want to, try to put this excrete on all of the possible. So I want to try to imagine stuff it's trying to get rid of? And try to apply that line there. That's so why I you bald now. Right People try. Huh? Huh, can y'all hear? He whispering. Um, all my barbers out there, I know y'all looking at that fade too. Y'all probably clowning me. You so should get a man weave. I think I would. I like to leave a top a little thick. My head too and greasy and oily for that shit, but I would. I had to give it that natural look as well. So, uh, this I is as loud as I can make it, y'all. He he whispering. That's a good good net for um applying these units. Okay, guys. After I get my line on, the next step is gonna be applying the glue. 
And the way you apply the glue is very important. You don't want to put on too much glue. So if you're a beginner and you're just not starting these units, I suggest you to apply the glue the way I'm doing it in the video here. Wow. What I like to do is apply dots all over the scalp. And that's going to help me get a nice even coat to where I'm not overusing the glue. It's not heavy in some areas and light in others. And it also is going to help with drying. It's going to dry even as well. And when you're doing these units, you can use two to three coats of glue. I only use two. Two to three coats? The hair actually God damn! Well. Next up, if you guys have a spatula or an applicating brush, that'll work perfect in this situation. Um, what I like to do is focus on the edge a lot, guys, because the edge is very, very important. Um, of course, I want to get everything else rubbed in. I want to make sure that I spread everything out evenly. And that help these dots are helping a lot, guys. Um, it's not heavy in some areas. It's not light in others. I'm gonna get a nice even coat. Now nah, let me. I'm not. A, I'm not against the man units, okay, or the man now, weave, or whatever it's called. You guys about this glue is very easy to work with. So if you get something past the line, I, I just, I just probably wouldn't um, be that dude. When applying the glue just... and you're working on that edge, make sure you get the bottom of the line. The bottom of the line is very, very important. And the, the line I'm talking about is that line that we do okay, around black All right, we go. We go. Because this glue dries and that hair is on it, you cannot get to his hair. Add a and little glue to Clyde's hair. And that's going to help with that natural look. And it matches most Hold of the the tracks, guys. You can use Not the tracks. braiding hair to do these man units. Um, the most important thing is... Is that Nubian no twist hair? ...to the client as possible. What I'm using in this video is 1B, and it matches most clients with dark hair. How you lay the tracks is very important as well. And I'm gonna These are why. tracks. Okay, my first track, I'm gonna lay. Oh my on. god! I told you guys to put on his hair when you was applying your last coat. Um, my second. Nah, track, I, I would still, still skip around even if it was at one and a half speed. And my second track is basically a guideline for by the time I start working my way inside the middle of the scalp with the tracks, it's gonna straighten out. This dude rocking kinky twist. More natural. They're not going out to the left or they're not going out to the right. By the time I meet up in the middle, this is a Marley to his hair. Work hard to pretty get this track down. Um, laying the rest of my track. Oh my and, gosh. Um, this next track is track is very this important. This is so guys. weird. You want to make sure that you lay the track right next to the first one, side by side. Line it up. Mm -hmm. Flesh it. Flesh it. Flesh it. There like you go. Puzzle piece. Yo, he gonna have like feet, three packs of hair on his head. Just a little bit. Just stretch it out and then press it down. But you want it to be laying so close to where they Oh, he about to be wavy. No space. His shit about to be <laughs> wavy as fuck. See, look, I knew, I knew he was going to blast us. I knew he was going to blast us. Joshua, what you say? He got burnt spaghetti on his head. <laughs> So, guys, how would you feel, honestly, if your man had a man weave? Is it okay or a hell nah? Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, if that's what you want to do, just don't ask me to do it for you because I'm not, I'm going to look at you like, I'm not putting my name on that. Like, I'm just, no. But, you know, shoot. I want my man to be happy. I hear, Look, and that's all I'm saying. Look, if this is what you got to do to make yourself, you know, feel confident, walk out the door, then shit, have fun with it. I'm just not going to be that person doing it. Why do they always blast you with music? Y'all please tell these content creators to like balance the audio. It's the most annoying thing. All right, we don't need to watch all of this. Track here. This last piece I'm going to lay, I'm going to show you guys about that overlaying towards the back. You don't have to have a perfect size piece to go on this small area. You don't have to cut it to fit this leg. Stick it on there and um, keep moving. It's, gonna it's a no for me. Just, just go um, ball, boo. <laughs> Um, my next step I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some scissors and I'm How going to long take this off last? the front layer, um, overlay of hair, and I'm going to keep that 
please guys do not throw this away grab it put it stored in another area because it's another technique that i use that i'm going to show you guys oh my god he got ramen noodles and you can make a lot of money he got ramen noodles hey guys my next step is to get the extra pieces that i have on top of the unit get those gone so first i want to grab me a dry towel and i want to press down in three areas of the um unit so i can make sure all my tracks are stuck to the glue second i want to grab my magic clips and I just want to cut all those extra pieces off. And what I'm doing now is just setting myself up with a smooth area. Yo, what if I his head itches? Okay, guys. I wouldn't be afraid to scratch. Those extra pieces off. I just want to create me a real smooth surface, as smooth as possible, so that I can begin detailing my unit. Um, but before I do that, I still have some pieces hanging over the front, so I'm gonna grab my clip. This ain't even a angle. unit. Not straight down, but more like edit. this is you. Just, just an angle. Laying some braided um, hair on his head. So that I or get some 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 Marley twists. Going down too much onto that edge. Do the black girl pat. Okay, guys, this process um, of cutting the unit down is gonna be a lot of hair in your client's face. Make sure you don't let that sit. It can be real uncomfortable for a client, so make sure. Every now and then, you don't. Boy, please, you got me over here and laying ramen noodles on your head. You better deal with it. Okay, guys. After I get his face brushed off and I done knocked that that edge, that extra hair off the edge, I'm gonna focus on cutting the unit down. Oh, what if he nice cut too much? Before I start detailing it. Um, if you took my class before, or you heard about me teaching these classes, I got a saying called the sweet spot. I found the sweet spot when I was first learning the units, and I started. How much attic. does he charge? The sweet for spot this? is just um getting it. Cause if I'm paying two hundred for this, you better be Google using Google. some human ass um, hair. Like I'm saying, most guys' units, um, I want to eliminate that noodle look as much as possible. And when you get past that noodle look, and you actually get that wave look going, that natural wave look going, it's gonna make the unit look so much real, so much more real, guys. What I like to do is focus on the back first and then both my sides, then the middle. So when I work in the back, I'm just gonna cut down to that sweet spot that I'm mentioning just to get it to blend perfectly in with his hair, guys. So continue to go down, guys, on the wave unit until you get that sweet spot that matches. You don't wanna brush that hair off? Guys. Yeah, so you can see what you're Look doing? Look how it's going directly into his hair, man, perfectly. And I'm getting it down to that same length. Um, so that it can look real, real natural. Um, after I finish the back and I get it to blend and, I, and I'm seeing that it's matching up with his hair, his hair real good, I'm gonna start with my sides because that's very important getting that blend and getting that um, synthetic hair to blend in perfectly. And that's the whole point of the video, guys. So I'm gonna use the corner of my magic clips here and I just wanna go right on top of that synthetic hair that I laid on top of that glue, guys. Remember I told you guys earlier in the video? Um, I'm gonna just go right on top of it. I wanna go in and out of those grooves with that corner until I get that perfect. How did, How is he gonna get that, I wanna do that, that crinkle sides out? Until I get that real, real natural look. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side and cut it down so I can show you guys the difference from how um, the sweet spot looks compared to the the real, real noodle effect. I want you guys to have a visual of that instead of me just speaking on it so that you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. And I'll show you how low I went from one <clears throat> side to the other. Oh, there we go again, getting blasted. All right. When you eliminate the noodle effect, you're gonna have a real, real natural looking unit, guys. And it's gonna make it. It's gonna make it clients come back every time, guys. Wow! Um, the more it's undetectable, the more they love the unit, and um, the better they feel about it. Actually, getting the unit more and more. So you want to make sure that you take your time, guys. Stop calling it a unit. unit. It's not a unit. To your perfection. Um, these clients are very, very sensitive, man. Some clients have had hair on their heads in 10, 11 years. I had a lot of clients. I mean crying getting out the chair because they haven't had head, hair on their head in so long Ooh. so um i love doing units man and i know you guys are going to love doing them if you're already doing the units man congrats salutes guys because i know you guys are making guys feel way better man way better about their um their confidence 
on the everyday life, man, just by applying the unit. Man, just just um, accept it. You just ain't meant to have hair. Like, from, like that's how I feel. Here. So I can make sure it but blends it does, just like the other side. It is side. starting to come you together. You see I have a noodle effect here. On this other side, it's blended in perfectly. Wow. And I didn't do anything special, guys. All I did was take the corner of my magic clips, and I went down gradually detailing that one track that I told you guys to lay earlier on top of his hair. I want to take my time and get that track cut all the way down so I get to a comfortable sweet spot, and it blends on all right, we already seen this edge and finish getting everything knocked down what i want to do is stand back from the unit and i want to look at it head on i want to see if i left any um noodle looking effect in the wave unit if so i want to go in and take my time and detail that noodle effect out so that i can have a real real natural looking unit guys okay guys once you step back from the unit you're going to notice that you may have some areas that still give you that noodle effect like I have here in the video. And what I like to do is go inside the grooves of those waves and eliminate the noodle effect as much as possible. Eliminating that effect, guys, is the key to getting you a natural looking unit. Okay, guys, towards the end of the unit, what I like to do Why do you keep is getting quieter and quieter? Things, when I teach my class, I tell my students all the time, focus on the small things. So I'm gonna use some spritz. I wanna go around his edge with it. And I want to go around where the synthetic hair blended in with his hair what? all around. Is this the I new thing now? You know, back in my day, we just, fibers. they just cut your hair and then like that was I'm it. I'm my fibers on, guys. I'm going to do like I do with any other haircut. I'm just going to grab my edges. I'm going to give them a crispy edge up so that it can look real, real natural. And I'm like I said, I'm going to always focus on the small things, man. I'm going to make sure I take my time and give my clients more in value than they give me in dollars. That's how you create clientele. I you mean, um, this is the best looking one I've seen. After we edge him up, get him looking all crispy, man. He asked for a part, so I'm going to do a part. He want a part? Nigga, you doing too much. Nigga, be doing too much. You, man, too man, much. you, you, have you had a whole have middle it. part. What Already did you say? You actually laid a track. So oh, my that. God. Another video. But since he wants a part and he wants it on the side because he had it before, we're going to add him a little part on the side, guys, just to spice it up a little bit. Before I get to that part, though, guys, like I said, I'm going to always give my clients more in value than they give me in dollars. So I'm going to take my time and get all these loose hairs off. I'm going to do all the little small details that matters. Man. They matter so much. Um, and it, and it gives you ain't right. more confidence, man. It gives His hair probably stank. And, um, I and doubt it. It probably product. smells like synthetic so hair. Take time with your clients, man. Give them more in value than they give you in dollars. And that's how you become one of the best barbers ever. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it up. I meant to. Take your time. All right, let's see him do this part. His hair, guys. It's not in the unit because you cannot cut inside that unit with that glue and that track on. I promise you, you cannot. And try not to get your clippers in that because it's going to mess your clippers up as well and it's going to dull your blades, guys. Mm. We're going to finish off with a little wig shine. Uh, and we are done. And, and smile on his face is priceless, guys. And that's what I do these units for. It's more than just about the money. I don't me. like it. If he... I'm not a barber, but I just feel like this needs to be faded down a little bit more. Like... I don't think it, the fade don't look. We're gonna finish off with a little wig shine, and we. The are fade done doesn't look, look well done to me. Face is priceless, guys. And is it just I'm me? This for is more than just about the money with me. It's about giving my clients that confidence and that smile. Maybe, and maybe when he sprayed that stuff in. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe. And it was, it was look, yeah, it was looking good before. It was looking good before. <sighs> okay. Um, let's see what the comments say. Ladies, it's our turn to sweat their weave out. Tyler Perry needs to hire you to do the man wigs for the actors in his movies. Came in looking like somebody daddy, came out looking like a high school student. I understand the need for some men to have a full head of hair, but black men can sport baldness better than any ethnicity on this planet. Uh, 
That's a matter of opinion. Black men can no longer complain about hair weaves any longer. I don't know how this got in my feed, but I had no idea this was a thing. I declare you, I declare that you are about to become a multi-millionaire. Ooh. In the beginning of the video, when you showed the end result, I was like, there's no way that this is the guy that has a man unit on. You gave this guy a new life. Damn. Wow. We put so much weight in hair. Uh, my husband definitely need this. This will build his confidence and he will smile all the time. He's almost 60. Let it go, bro. Just let it go. Like, it's the same thing with, like, people, like, complaining about their hair gray and stuff. Like, some things, like, just learn to accept it, you know? Like, it's a part of life. It's a part of getting older. Like, I don't know. For me, I'm just, like, I just feel like not everything needs to be fixed. You know? Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. I swear to God, I'm shook. I'm a white hairdresser, and it, it happened up on this. Straight talent. I'm in awe. This is just art at its finest. So much time and the patience that went into mastering this. Just wow. Amazing. I've officially seen it all. Apparently... In the future, all black women will be natural and all black men will have units. What? Good luck with that, sis. He has a perfect skull shape. This technique takes decades of some people. Very satisfying to watch these great skills. When she pulls off her weave, then you pull off yours. Good job. My question is how long can this last before it starts falling off? I heard it takes about a month. All right. Uh, well, oh, what happened? Who out here being crazy? Um, all right, what's next? What are we watching? It's too expensive to have a unit with rent and bills to pay. Look, if women can find the expenses to get their weaves and buy their hair, I don't see why we can't make room for uh for for men to get their units. Who's the star puppy that y'all keep typing? Wait, who's star puppy? Y'all don't be having me watch nobody that's mad extra. Um, let, let me let me just see who y'all talking about. Um, uh, Hmm. All right. Kind of nerdy alternative black YouTuber. Okay, uh, let's check this out finally bit the bullet and started watching it and then i finished it in one night
much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Wow, that's... that's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome to another episode of... Stop Her vs. Styling. Hello, welcome back to Star Puppy. Uh, I wasn't gonna upload today, but I think a lot of you need a distraction, so here I am. Stay inside and wash your hands. I'm gonna get through this. I As hope so. I was a small lass here in the south of the U.S., I was exposed to anime. And thusly, my style has been irrevocably influenced heavily by Japanese fashion and anime, and I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any redemption on the, on the horizon for me. One of those dreams was to have ears full of earrings, full of them, bursting from the seams with metal. And I'm working on that. I have six more piercings planned. And the other was to have anime hair. Perhaps a pastel blue. Perhaps a purple. But more than anything, I have lusted after one color more than any. Pink? pink. I want pink anime hair. I've been sitting on this product for quite some time, waiting for the right time to reveal it on my channel. And is there anything more distracting than 4C hair becoming a different color? I don't think there is. Hair paint wax, a splash of color. Now, it's a little unclear whether I can use this as an actual styler, but I see that it is a wax. We'll see if I should have done something extra for natural hair. Was that foreshadowing? We'll see. <laughs> What in the world? Oh my god. Oh my god. It is a struggle though. <laughs> She's stupid. I can relate. I can relate. <laughs> how, how many followers does she have? 150, okay, interesting. It's different. Is she a polyglot? I guess so. Alright. <laughs> you look like Mickey Mouse. So, we gonna start in the back. Because who knows what shenanigans will ensue? Is that foreshadowing? We'll see. What do we have here? We have our hair paint wax. We got aloe vera, and that's it. Because I think I have low porosity hair. Would y'all be interested in seeing a video about low porosity hair and how I determined that my hair porosity has changed? Yada yada yada. Be honest. First of all, this looks purple. First of all. Where did it go? Mm. Okay. I wanted my hair to be pink from almost my scalp to the ends. I don't think there's enough product in this jar for old Danny Five Strands, aka me. We're just gonna see. How's that? How's that, friends? We I just want to see where this is going to end up. I'm curious. Done a braid out on the channel. Haven't had a successful braid out since 2017, maybe even 16. We'll see what happens. You people split that way, but work it split. You have to talk to them in any way. You don't have to be right up on them to have camaraderie and catch up. Or for all those little nagging things that you've been meaning to do, this is a great time to actually do them. And I know it's actually really hard. I don't to like the color. I don't like the color. Watch along with y'all. Y'all want to watch along? 
Wow, it's a lot of talking. Time to see what we're working with. So, things are looking a little patchy. Let's She does have gorgeous teeth. My God. This color. It was at this moment, moment, moment Danielle, Danielle knew she, she glowed, glowed up. up. <laughs> really? You know, well, this worked. It out. came together in the end. Well, oh. I'm surprised. Okay, okay. Okay, pink pencil. Well, this ended up very cute. Really quick, though. Oh! No! <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with. But oh my gosh, like high key, low key, why is this wax better than the stylers I use now? Cause it's heavy. This subtle maroon and it defined my curls. This looks more like a wash and go than a braid out, but it's a really good wash and go. Why is this it wax does. better than it the does. wax that's supposed to be for my natural hair? Why I gotta use the pink wax to finally get a good braid out <laughs> what is happening do you like my pink hair should i get other colors and see if they work what do you think should i use some other styles too i think the pink I worked out good for her skin tone if it was too That's bright and goal. too vibrant and I, I think it would have been too much back to back, and you're always tuning in why don't you just subscribe yeah i'm talking to you yup no see that's that's where you lost me that's where you lost me all right next it's burgundy it's like it's a red violet i'm getting red i'm getting red violet Oh, y'all, y'all set me up. Y'all set me up. All right. Why are we watching this girl? Why are we watching her? Why are we watching her? All right. I'm getting eggplant. Is it eggplant more of a deeper purple? Oh, I just feel like this isn't. This isn't going to. Lumps of hair came what, Okay, so wh what does she do? Does she get people's horror stories and then like relays them on her YouTube channel? Is is that what it is? All right. Anyways, um. Let's see. Uh, whoa. What? What the hell happened? This story went viral. Girl Scout peeled back. Oops, sorry. Daughter's hair pulled out at school. By the deed. Is this shit real? Do she be exaggerating this shit? Because I just feel like... Let's 
Let me see. She gave my daughter a texturizer. Where did she go? A Dominican salon? As far as we know. All right, we're just gonna go. This one's, this one's relatively short. I got a scalp infection. I went home and was in agonizing pain. Pain medication wasn't working and I couldn't even touch my scalp without wine. I would wake up from my sleep in pain. As I was taking out the braids, basically in tears, and I have a very high pain tolerance. Oh my goodness. Hey y'all, it's Treya and I'm back. With the horror story, with the horror story, with the horror story, I'm back. Ah, Why are we dancing? With the horror story. Ah, do I need to work on my woe? Because I've been thinking, like, I don't know if I'm really killing it when I, like, when I woe. Like, I don't really know. Maybe I need to work on it. Let me know on Instagram. Anyways, hey, guys. So, y'all know it's Friday. And Friday means y'all get a natural hair horror story. Horror story. A natural hair horror story. Horror story. Oh my god, did I just add a price to the song? Okay, so you guys are getting a natural hair horror story. If you don't know what natural hair horror stories are, girl, where you been? Where you been at? I do have a series called Natural Hair Horror Stories where I allow you guys to email me your craziest. And this is really crazy, okay? Your craziest natural hair horror story, and I feature it, I share my thoughts, and I used to let you guys weigh in in the comments. That was before YouTube disabled them. They said no more. So now you guys can chat with me over on my community tab or over on my Instagram at I am Treya. So go and follow your girl. Chit chat with me over there because um the comments don't. Uh 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 uh. This what y'all wanted. This what y'all wanted. This what y'all wanted. This one was pretty bad. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and let's jump into the story. Okay, so as always, we're going to put the email here so that you guys can read it along with me. So the email says, Hi, Mrs. Treya. My name is Rain, and I'm 17 with a natural hair horror story that has traumatized me, and I'm paying for it still to this day. Girl, so not only did she have a natural hair horror story, she's still going through the after effects. So... It's one of them. She says, I've always been natural. I've never had a perm or anything. My mom taught me at a young age that girls are beautiful and always will be. Go mama, go mama. Before getting into the story, here are some details about my hair. My hair is very thick, like always breaking blow dryers thick, girl. Who knows the struggle? Give this video a thumbs up if you've ever broken the combs on the blow dryer. Pertinent to the story, since I've learned from a young age that braiders slash other hairstylists can't always use the same products or ways of doing things on my hair that they do others which is key everyone's hair is with your hair it's hair of high school and i still need to take my cap and gown photos for the yearbook at the time i couldn't do slick backs and i used every excuse in the book to get my parents to let me get a sew-in for the first time who don't y'all know like whenever it's a big event we always want to go to go and use to get heat damage, okay? Then I found a young girl, 19, that did them in a shop for a very 19. low price. $80 for the end. $80? Very, okay, she emphasized very. A $80 sewing? So yes, but at the same time, expensive don't always mean great. So we'll On see. On extremely we'll thick, sure dense hair? Good. Okay. I booked it and it was all good. I went in the appointment and she was so sweet. She brought an apple juice for me and I love apple juice. Okay, Silas. Fast forward to the end. I got in the car and my head was hurting pretty bad. What? Which I expected. Girl, you already expected for it to hurt? Maybe you thought, okay, you're getting your hair braided for a so when Of course, it's going to be some tension. Later that day, my mom and I went to my sister's house and she pointed out that there's a huge hump in the back. Then on to further investigation, there were huge gaps of hair where you could literally see the tracks. Okay. What? Side note, the girl requires three bundles and a closure and she only used two and told me she used all of them. Plus, so wins more than me and she said my hair is way too thick for the standard pattern that she uses. 
I believe it was the circle pattern. Okay, I'm thinking like the beehive. My mom said all she was gonna do was slap tracks on top and sew the hump down. And all I'm gonna say is, mama knows best. Girl, I texted the girl, sent her pictures, and she was again very nice about it and told me to come in the next day after I take my, wait, why are we coming in after you take the pictures? Wait, was the pictures the next day? I mean. Were the pictures the next day? Why didn't you get it fixed before your pictures? I don't get it. And like the pictures she didn't go to show the tracks. What my mom said she was going to do and sent me on my merry way. I went home and was Mary, not Mary. Pain. pain medication wasn't working and I couldn't even touch pain myself medication without whining. I would wake up from my sleep in pain. So I'm assuming that when you got your hair done initially you were in pain, but not excruciating pain, hence why you went back to her. But this time I'm assuming it was worth up. Okay. As I was taking out the braids, basically in tears, and I have a very... All right, we just go skip to... I where are the pictures at? ...in the back of her actual hairstyle, and you can definitely see the hump in the back. Like, Why is there a hump? What was she doing? What was she doing? Then I'll include some more pictures. This is her hair. You can see the tracks. Our space Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh it, you literally like you could just dive in like what the world you can see the netting like what what is this what is this this stylist is really out here scamming for bundles this girl is missing a whole bundle Oh my gosh, this is so crazy to me. And then I'll include the pictures of her wounds. You can see the blood. Like, oh my gosh. This is just, oh, this is crazy to me, y'all. Y'all gonna have me take another break from Nedra Hair Horror Stories, okay? Because it's too much. This is too much. I can only imagine how much. You know, she really doesn't bring much to the story. She's just very... I don't know. I guess I guess that's what y'all like to see. She's just very animated and forced. And I know at times I do the same thing, but I feel like with me it's genuine like because that's my genuine reaction i feel like sometimes these youtubers is just kind of like okay this is what they want so i'm gonna give it to them like i just i don't know it's just extra i don't know all right all right uh i just you know what the funny thing is i've never watched her but just from what I got from her idea of, like, her videos, I just kind of knew, like, I already wasn't going to like it. But I, I tried. I tried. I tried. This is why this is why I don't watch a lot of natural hair, like, related YouTubers. It's just, it's too much. Now, even, even the girl in the last video, she's extra and animated, but... And, like, a lot of it has to do with her editing, too. But I can tell, like, she's naturally, like, that's her personality. Like, this is forced. This is forced. She's, she's not walking around every day, all day, acting like this. The other girl, I can tell. She, like, that's, that's who she is. I can tell. Like, she was that weird kid in high school that people was like, this bitch is weird. Like, that was her. Like, nah. I love your view on freeform locks. I don't have any views on freeform locks. <laughs> I don't have any views on it. Like, I don't know. Like, this, I mean, whatever you want to do with your hair, that's what you want to do with it. I personally don't like it, which is why I would never get it. But, hey, it's not my hair. So, that's just me. All right. What are we going to watch next? Someone said... Corona in that cup. Look, girl, it might be Corona. Might be the whole, the the whole like cap. The 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 water. It could be the whole situation. I don't even know. Um, let's see. 
Somebody said, what what somebody say? Um Damn, I can't remember. Someone said people big chopping their hair. I don't really have a reaction to big chopping because I feel like I don't know. I feel like people kind of make big chopping like this really huge big deal. And I understand for some people it really is, but I don't know. Maybe because I just I'm around here all the time. I see long hair, short hair, medium length hair. I, it like I'm not that doesn't. I'm not just like, oh my god, all her hair is got it doesn't do anything for me. Like, I don't know. Big chop cause do not cut your hair if nope. Cutting all my hair, waist slave to TWA. Yeah, you need to chop that. You need to chop that. Um cutting my hair after three years of transitioning. Yeah. I cut all my thick curly hair. Oh, why are you crying? My mom slapped me. What what you what you got going on? Okay, yeah, you a kid. I'm not watching this. I'm not watching that. Um Big Chop three month update. Where have I seen you before? Where have I seen her? I've seen her somewhere. Um. Uh, hmm. I'm looking for a good one. I'm not really. I'm not really seeing anything that just grabs my attention. Cutting my hair off without my mom's permission. What's with all these kids on YouTube? It's kind of weird. Uh. Big chop fail. Oh lord, I feel like I'm gonna regret this. All right. What is that? I was right. I was right. What is that? I sound like an idiot, don't I? Action. It's your girl Eva, and I am back with another one because I know you guys have been waiting for another one, and I'm about to give you another one. Today's okay. video is gonna be very hard for me. Is I'm it? I'm cutting my hair because my hair is super damaged. Like when I tell you it's super damaged, it's super damaged. I, I get it. Damage in my hair has become very dry, and like this is no repairing at this point, and my hair straight now. The front is straight. Uh, I might upload a video of how my hair looks. So you guys can have an idea on like Damn, why I'm cutting it and why I need to cut it. It's okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. There's never a time where I don't cut my hair. I don't care. I'm restarting, but let's model real quick with my hair. Let's not. Let's Say not. bye. You doing it? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna come more than this, guys, so don't worry. You probably should let somebody. Oh. There's. Okay. Just. You just go haphazardly.
I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go wet it to see how it looks. But I think I'm gonna come more, like, right here, same shit. We'll see. Here's the awful outcome that actually made this video interesting. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Cute to me. It needs to be shaped, but do you love me? Oh. I'm just waiting to see like what it looks like. Okay, alright, 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 alright. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was gonna regret it. Alright, um huh. Lord, I see. Y'all really ain't got much to watch. <laughs> Let's do natural natural hair hacks. Let's Let's see what comes up. Um hmm. Hold on, who is this? Yes, honey. Um, all right, let's bring it back up. You chose like the worst big chop possible. I probably did, but, um, I mean, aren't they all pretty much the same? Uh, all right, let's 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 watch Napster eighty five. What's up, guys? Today we're doing a hack video. I compiled fifty of some of my most helpful hair hacks. You'll probably recognize many of these hacks because I use them all in my daily life and they just make everything so much easier. So starting out with the basics first, this is great for all hair types, but especially if you have dry, frizzy, and curly hair. Skip the towels and use a t-shirt to dry your hair. Towels have grooves that cause friction and agitate the hair cuticle, causing unnecessary frizz and breakage. Flat cotton t-shirts have a flatter surface that won't agitate your hair cuticles, leaving them defined and smooth. Smooth. I'll just scrunch and squeeze the excess water out of my curls or another way is that I'll actually wrap the t-shirt around my head I guess securing it on the top or bottom with an elastic tie holding it in place as the t-shirt absorbs all the excess water another basic that I find really handy to know deep conditioning is a must and I personally love using these plastic conditioning caps that you can find at most beauty supply stores to trap the heat and moisture but if you happen to run out of these plastic caps or you just can't get to one just grab a plastic grocery bag as long as there's no holes what? in the bag it'll trap the heat and moisture in the same way as those deep conditioning caps found at the beauty supply store and they're free I really enjoy deep conditioning overnight but if you've ever tried this it can get pretty messy if the water and product from your hair start dripping down your neck and onto your pillow 
So if you decide to decondition or hot oil treatment at night, wait, didn't she say she don't like coconut oil? And tie it around the edge of your deep conditioning cap to catch and absorb any oil or water that might leak out. Make Shout. sure the tube sock is halfway on the plastic cap and halfway touching your skin to make sure it'll catch any liquids. Then place a satin scarf or bonnet over that for added protection. If you got to do all of that. You won't feel a drop of liquid on your skin or pillow. Hack number four. I could I'm never do that. It would make me hot. Years now, and I can't even imagine how I function. This was years ago, fool. Y'all say this like I sit here and watch this woman. How am I supposed to know? Your shower. Dang, y'all all up in her uh, to the tiles and her natural it's hair. Awesome. Calm down, girls, calm girls down. Hair in sections, or for those with a ton of thick hair that's hard to detangle. Oh lord, I can't say nothing about natural eighty five. Y'all, y'all be up in y'all feelings. Seeing what you're doing in the shower as you wash and detangle your hair saves you so much time. This is true though. This is true. Get you look, cause I, I actually use a um. A shower mirror for when I used to uh, shave my hair. Now I use a, actually I still shave it, but I use an electric shaver. But get you a shower mirror. It will make such a big difference. It'll make such a big difference. You can actually see everything you're doing, streamlining the process, and making it so that you don't do any unnecessary damage. Wait, what, what the hell she got going on? She got an LCD screen up in there? Preference or budget. You can get them super cheap for a dollar at the dollar store or split. Let's just say you're not impressed by anything. I mean, I, I'm really not. I like, y'all think, like, I told y'all, I can't get on here and, like, like force reactions. That's why when y'all like, oh, you need to do another rant. I can't just rant about something I'm not pressed about. Like, and then stuff like doesn't really press me anymore. I'm not impressed by a lot of this stuff because number one, a lot of stuff that people are all here talking about, number one is a bunch of misinformation. And then number two, everybody on here is so fucking fake, forced, and extra for no fucking reason. Um, like we clearly just saw like how many videos and how many people like fit that category. So like, it's kind of hard for me to get on here and be like, Oh my God. Wow. And it's just like, everybody's on here doing the same, the same shit. And I just like, no one's offering anything new to the table. You know, I feel like. It, and it's not that we've kind of exhausted everything, but it's just like people just haven't, I don't know. You know what else I think it is? You know what else I think it is? It's, it's part of being a hairstylist because for a lot of you, when you're watching these videos, like this is something like that you're hearing for the first time or that you're experiencing for the first time. But a lot of stuff that I'm sitting here looking at and hearing, like like I said, it's either incorrect or not true or uh, misinformation. Or number two, like I see this constantly on a daily basis. So like the shock value is just not there for me anymore. You know what I'm saying? So... And then also, too, I have a different perspective when it comes to hair. I think with me studying hair and experiencing hair on a daily basis, I have a broader perspective on, like, hair in general. And for someone who doesn't have that same perspective, they're literally looking at one part of the picture versus me looking at the whole bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of stuff that goes into why I'm not, like, impressed but that's why I know, like, some sometimes when y'all, like, pick certain videos, I already know, like, I'm already going to have, like, a uh, kind of reaction to it because I can just, I can just tell. You know what I'm saying? On a more but one that you can buy it is what it is. Online. From basic to fogless, shower mirrors are one of the most helpful hats. That mirror that looked hella expensive. Should that should look like the shit that be at the ATM. Tired of having to Hawkeye each hair strand and try to catch it before it clogs up your drain? No. <laughs> Who the fuck drink. does that? These bad boys do all the work for you so that you can enjoy your shower without having to stress over catching each shed hair. When your shed hair starts heading towards the drain, No, I've never seen Britney Gray. Has this ever happened to you? 
You're enjoying your warm shower when all of a sudden the water turns icy cold and you can't make it hot again. And you still have half your hair to wash. Well, Why are you wasting all that water? If you live in a place where your hot water turns cold quickly, start your shower out on the coolest setting that you're comfortable with. Then as the water starts to get colder, raise that temperature up slightly to add more warmth and get it comfortable again. Then after a while, it may get cold again, but just keep raising that dial a little bit at Girl, a time you gonna run out of hot water. throughout the duration of your shower. That way you're not using all of your hot water up at once. My shampoos are quick as fuck. for as long as you need to without feeling cold or uncomfortable. Seal your hair after every wash with a cold water rinse. Cold water shocks the hair cuticles closed, flattening the surface and helping to seal in moisture. This makes your strands smooth, shiny, and super hydrated. So after every wash, just make sure you do I don't one really last do that, cold but, rinse to help you know. seal everything in. A hack number eight is to coat the hair in aloe vera For me, juice. I just feel like aloe vera juice with the cold water situation, you can do the cold water if you want to. But for me, I feel like as long as the water is cooler than um, like the temperature that you were using with the shampoo, like it's fine. But you're not going to like, like shock your cuticles to lay flat with just freezing cold water it so doesn't helps work to seal like that. Cuticle shut, helping to seal in moisture and promote shine as an added bonus it also helps to balance the ph levels of your hair so try to incorporate aloe vera juice as well for shiny smooth and moisturized hair we've all been there finally finished washing our hair only to step out of the shower dry off and notice that we forgot to rinse out a few spots and clumps of conditioner. Oh, Instead of hopping back in the shower and getting wet all over again. Or grabbing a washcloth to try and scrub it out, which could be really abrasive to your hair. Grab a baby wipe to gently and easily remove any leftover product without causing any fr- No. Take your ass back in that shower and rinse that shit out. Or go to the sink and rinse that shit off. Don't you dare take no damn baby wipe and wipe the shit off. What is no? No. On the hair, and you don't have to hop back in the shower. They also work well if you need to skip a wash or freshen up after working out. The skip a wash. Skip a wash. This is nasty. And to any buildup on the scalp without affecting the rest of your hair. A flexi rod set looks super cute when you take it out, but installing it can be a huge pain in the butt. It's hard to keep all those rods organized. They flop all over the place. They can come undone and unravel if they're not tight enough. And they're just really bulky, making it hard to fit them all on your head. So what I like to do is secure the ends of the flexi rods together using an elastic hair tie. This keeps the rods shut so that they don't unravel. And it also makes the rods more compact so that they don't take up too much space on your yeah, head. That's kind of a sloppy flexi rod set. Everything is know. much more organized. It's and streamlined, so she can which get just away makes with the it. flexi rod process so much more enjoyable. Now I have a whole video dedicated to this awesome hack, and I'll link it below if you guys want more details. But hack number 11 is to save money and make your own ribbon hair elastics. I love these ribbon elastics that you can find in stores. They're really gentle on my hair, but also really expensive, like $5 a pack. <laughs> so save money by buying the ribbon in bulk online. You can make like 400 of these ribbon ties yourself for the same price of $5. And it literally takes less than a minute to make one. Just cut and knot. Girl, and you can just make it for me and I'll buy it. Ain't nobody else time can't for find it. in stores, like bigger ones for headbands, smaller ones that I use on my daughter for her little ponytails. And I also use these to secure my flexi rods. So making your own ribbon ties are not only economical, but it just gives you a lot. Huh? Wait, are you, you're not finished? Okay, all right. I thought you were done. If you want to stretch your twist out to get more length out of it and more definition, stretch the twist around your head and bobby pin them in place. This, this will really stretch does them work overnight though. while you sleep to give you I more length this all the time. and more definition in your twist outs. Now I love a good satin bonnet and satin scarf, but I used to have the issue of my scarf falling off at night. So here's hack number 13, how to tie a satin scarf so that it stays on your head all night and won't slip off. So I hold two corners and drape it over my hair and forehead. Bring the two corners to the back and I tie them together. And Son, how long have I been tied? <sighs> And then you know what? You can actually put a bonnet on top of that. So even if the bonnet slides off, you still got the scarf for the added protection. But this is how I actually used to tie my hair at night all the time. And that's how I preserved all of my hairstyles. Whether it was a twist out, 
or uh, uh, Rod said, which I never really did, or uh, braids, two shirt twists, flat twists, whatever. And it literally, I like it because it compacts the hair and it holds it in place versus a bonnet where you go to sleep, your hair is just like shifting all through the night and then it can kind of create frizz. But when you tie it down like that, it literally holds the strands in place so that it preserves the style better. But you know. Always tie twice. Now grab that extra scarf. I give it a little pull so it's nice and snug against my hair. Then just grab those two remaining corners, bring them up and around to the front and tie them together in place. Sometimes that didn't work for me. Anywhere. If you have damaged hair, transitioning hair, or hair that just refuses to curl, you'll like this hack. When styling a twist out, if you find that your ends ruin the entire style because they fall flat and just refuse to curl, just grab a few perm rods and roll the ends of your twist around the perm rods. Sleep with them overnight and in the morning, your ends will be perfectly curly. This is gonna make your twist outs look more uniform and have more life. And the last hair hack. This one's actually good for hair and makeup. If you're trying to get dressed and you can't fit your head into your shirt without messing up your hairstyle, cover your head with a large satin bonnet or a large satin scarf. Oh. This will provide a nice and slippery surface on top of your hair so that your shirt will roll right over your hairstyle. That's actually a good one. Strand in place. No frizz and no more ruined hairstyles. And if you don't have a scarf, you can always use a bonnet if you have one that's large enough. This also works really well if you're trying to avoid getting makeup on your clothes. Those are my 15 hair hacks. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. I hope that they were helpful. And All right. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you so much. So much. Oh, this video is old. Now I see why y'all was so pressed. Anyways, um, let's see what you, what you talk about. Nine kinky hair hacks for flawless natural hair. Let me just see what they they got to say on this one. I'm just curious. What are you about to do? No, what are you doing? Baby, no, baby, no. What are you? What you about to do? Get yourself a weave, sir. Flax seeds. Ooh. That looks nasty. Ew. Her hair is cute without definition. Girl, you gonna mess up that blouse. Oh no, that's a blazer. Ugh, the before was definitely better. Ooh. That before was better. No. Mustard oil. ingredients from I ain't never seen mustard oil that's a lot of oil just for the root looking 
for a heatless way to curl your hair. Wait, what are you doing? Ain't nobody got... Who got time for this? Health store for what? Specialty organic stores. I've listen, I've been there. I've never seen mustard oil. I ain't even seen that other oil she mentioned. I've seen pumpkin seed oil. I've seen aloe vera oil. I've seen all types of random oils. I ain't never seen mustard. Good luck finding that one. Now what they what they about to do now? Ketchup oil. <laughs> really? This is a hack? Son. What 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 they about to what they about to do? What if you don't want a middle part? And you're gonna twist it around the towel? Oh, you're gonna braid it. What the hell? This better be the best definition her hair ever had. It's gonna be flat. She's not gonna have any volume. You frizzed it out. Look, now she got to fight. Oh, he cute. Let me define your curl. Oh, he, he looks so serious though. What you about to do? Oh, you about to two shirt twist? Wait, wait, what, what? Ooh, and he got nice hands. to stretch his hair? I'm not understanding. Okay. You did that. Oh, boy, you better stop looking at me like that. I see you. What you about to do, girl? DIY heat protector. No, no. Girl, you better get you some real heat protector. You That's why her shit thin already. And then she using a fine tooth comb. Oh, she need a trim. She need a trim. Oh Lord. What kind of str what the <laughs> no, 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 stop. Want to stretch your hair? Coconut oil. Grapeseed oil. Aloe vera. Why y'all put it in these tidy ass bottles? Ooh. I would have just applied it all separately, but that's just me. Ew. 
Is she using a bristle brush? <laughs> I mean, want to create baby hairs? Here we go with these tiny ass jars in a mascara tube. How you gonna clean it out? Oh my God. <laughs> Who came up with this? No, 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 stop. Just use edge control. Damn, that's a lot of shea butter. They just mixing a bunch of shit. Like, it's not... Honey, is this being left in your hair? Oh. They should have had me out here. I would have been selling this shit. Cause they just not, they not doing enough. She's serving face or whatever, but look, her shit unraveling. Okay, she deconditioning. Wait, did she? No comments. I'm not surprised. Um, on that note, people, I will be right back. I'm going to go to the little boy's room because this shit made me have to go pee. Make sure you wash your hands. I can't hear him. Oh, y'all listening too hard. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Protect yourself from Corona. And I'm back. All right. Let's see who this Brittany. Who y'all say? How you spell her name? Brittany. Brittany. Is it gray? Y'all know it's like 10 different ways to spell Brittany. Is this her? Why am I watching her?
Uh, yeah, let's let's nod and say we did. Let's nod and say we did. I'm probably not going to do a salon tour. And this is why. How to wash hair like an expert. Okay, let's let's watch this. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as requested, today I'm going to do a video showing you guys the proper way. Why is there a fan going in the bag? A vlog a couple of days ago, and I mentioned. Oh, y'all can't hear her. I'm sorry. So today I'm going to show you guys, I have a friend coming in, I'm going to show you guys how I shampoo hair. And it's basically going to be the same way you're going to want to do it at home, except here I'm doing it in a salon shampoo bowl, but I mean it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Um, you're just doing it to yourself. Whether you're a professional watching this or if you just want to learn how to properly wash your hair at home I got you so if you're not already please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in salon hair videos also if I'm not here I'm on Instagram at Brittany Gray and other than that let's get into the video now all right so um, first thing you're gonna do is wet all of the hair you can take these tips whether you're washing your hair at home or whether you're doing it at a salon, pretty much gonna be the same thing, but especially if you're doing it at a salon, you wanna you wanna watch this and pay close attention because people do not know how to wash hair, okay? This is true. Actually, this is true. Okay, so just just with you. <laughs> so you just wet the hair, keep your keep your hand here so you don't like sprinkle the client's face. Cover the ear like that. See? First off, if you angle if you angle the hose it won't spray in her face because it'll naturally f direct all the water down the length of her hair. If you just spray it like this, then coming straight down, yeah, it's gonna splatter everywhere. And make sure the hair is really... Does she do black people hair? I'm pretty much wet all the top of her hair. I'm letting the water... Hair is important, but can you wash your ass? So you are going to just get your favorite shampoo. I'm using Kevin Murphy's Smooth Again today. Never heard of it. So you want to lather a little bit in your hands and then I like to do the top, sides, and then underneath. And first thing you want to do is get a good lather going. I'm not washing her hair yet. I'm literally just lathering. It's so easy washing white people's some hair. Some people just like, you know, they just like kind of do that with the hair. Like that is not cleaning the hair really. What's is that how you wash your hair? No, I go like in there. What is she? Yeah, so I'm just creating a lather when you see me doing this to, towards her ends. I'm not really like scrubbing them. So okay, so once you get a good lather going, you're gonna you basically want to shampoo and be aggressive from from wall to wall, floor to ceiling. Okay, like so from the the hairline here. We're gonna go in. Oh, 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 I like her. And we're she get up in there. Finally, somebody. Top of her head, now we're doing, I'm digging in like that with my hands and then we're doing, we're basically washing. She gotta work on her technique though. And she gotta, she gotta work. That's a dark white woman. She must be tanning. I don't know who it is, but if you go, first off, when you, it's not even just about getting the hair clean. You got a massage. Okay, you got you got a massage. So what you got to do is you when when one hand is working, you you shift the other hand to another area and then you start working that hand, right? So the massage doesn't actually stop. It's not disrupted. You got to you got to know how to flow. You know what I'm saying? So like if I need to get underneath the head, I hold I keep massage with this hand, get up under there. Then I start moving around. See, you gotta, you gotta move around. Then you gotta get the sides. You gotta get the edges. You can't like all this. Okay, now I gotta. Let me get down here. Let me get the side. Like nah. From here to here, this is the crown of her head. My massage therapist know what I'm talking about. 
na seis. I don't know that that bottom area. You gonna hit that? She not. She she. I I, I liked it at first, but. Hair product, all that kind of stuff. You know, sometimes you can get zits around your hairline, which are like super painful for some reason. And then also too, it's it's a it's a motion to it. It's a motion to it. you can't just you gotta you gotta mix it up. So you gotta get the but then you also gotta get the fingers like rolling. You gotta roll the fingers. You gotta dig into the scalp. Really, just with the pads of your fingers, you gotta. Got to knead the scalp, you know what I'm saying? And you got to, you do it fast and then you slow it down. They like it when you slow it down. They're like, oh yeah, oh I feel that. You got to, and then you surprise them. You, you bring it back in there. You're like, oh yes, boy, oh wash my hair. You got to, then you, see you got to, let me, hold on, let me show y'all. Cause y'all, you, first you go in like this, right? You get all the areas. Then once you get a good ladder going, once you get that lather, that's when you you go in, right? You do you doing this. You doing this. You already got the scalp clean. You already got the scalp clean. So this all this shit is extra. This shit just make a you know what I'm saying? And you roll. So see when I when I'm up in here, then I move back here. And then I move over here and then I move over here. You gotta keep it going. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? And then when you when you do it slow, that's when you put intense pressure. You push and pull, push, pull, and roll the fingers. You got to roll it. There you go. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this already. Mm-hmm. Anyways. <clears throat> As I was saying. So you want to make sure you're washing all the way up to the hair. See, she ain't, she ain't, this is cute. And I'm using as much pressure as possible without, and she, like, Bridget that's, doesn't That's how you wash your dog. Like, that's, that's how you wash your dog. No, no, no. She likes it rough. So. Oh, not rough. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to do it with, like, this should feel like a workout for your arms. Like, Kind of like how I'm trying to talk right now, but I'm out of breath. <laughs> See, like look, when, when you out of breath, that's when you know you're putting in work. This is like the nape of her neck. Again, especially back here. Yeah, she ain't, she ain't hitting back here too good. Well, there ain't no lather back there. And then she, you got to park the hair so you can really get into that scalp. She not, she not getting good coverage. on the ends. I don't do this to like scrub the ends because you don't really need, need to do that. Shampoo, like if you look at up close the molecules of shampoo like traps oil and all that kind of stuff and then when you rinse the hair it washes out. So with um, you're only scrubbing really the, the scalp. You don't need to scrub the actual hair unless you're, you have something in your hair that's like... That's not true. That's not true. You kind of have to create agitation. That's what allows the molecules of the shampoo to adhere to the impurities on the hair. So, you know, if you just coat the hair with shampoo and then you'd be like, oh, okay, well, when I rinse the water out, the shampoo going to rinse all the dirt. Like, no, that's not how it works. Just like when you're washing your body, you don't just... You don't just be like, oh, okay, I got lather going. I can just rinse off and I'm good. Like, nah, you got to you gotta have something to put some friction, you know what I'm saying, that can really just create agitation and really cause those molecules to adhere to the impurity so that you can, like, cleanse it off. But, you know, whatever, teach their own. I don't know. Like, if you have, like, a heavy updo and you have a bunch of gel and stuff in your hair, other than that, you don't really need to, like agitate the hair that much. I know you use a lot of hairspray. As much as possible. And then we're going to do a second shampoo. So I do two shampoos because like I always do two shampoos, I think, because it's kind of like washing your face after a long day of wearing makeup. You wouldn't just wash your face once, right? Or I would hope not. 
So you'd wash your face twice, or you would. I mean, I wash my face twice, and I don't even. So hair is the same way. I don't even wear makeup, but you know. Wash is just an initial wash. The second wash, you're really gonna go ham. By the way, I'm using the pads of my fingers. I'm using the whole pad of my finger, like from my fingertips all the way down. I'm not using my nails at all. You don't want to use nails when you're when you're. Um, Man, let me shampoo her client. I'll take her client out. from her. I'm not impressed. I was at first, because this is the first time I've actually seen somebody scrub, but she missing all the important areas. I want to see her wash, wash some thick natural hair. That's what I want to see. You ain't washing thick natural hair like that. Mm-mm. Oh, that's cute. Look at Be her. Be careful, like, around this area. This is, like, a really scary area to shampoo if you're going to do it correctly because you want to point your fingers going that way. What? Do you know what I mean? Like, point them going that way so that way you don't accidentally poke the client in the eye. What? And also so you don't scratch their ear. Also around the ear like this, you want to be careful not to scratch their ear. She, she don't know what she's doing. Who taught her? Lift the head up. The hairline. That, that nape ain't getting really clean. I can tell. That nape probably ain't even got wet. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. It's, it's funny watching stylists do hair. All right, let's see what she does next. If you're shampooing at, at a salon, by the way, you want to make sure the client just lays there. D tell them, like, if they try to lift their head up, tell them, like, don't lift your head up. Some clients, like, try to lift their head up so that way they feel like they're helping you, which is nice and all, but they're actually making your job a little bit harder, and on top of that, they're going to get themselves wet. So make sure they just lay there because the weight of their head uh, prevents the water from going down their back, like going between the sink and their back. Uh, okay. Okay, so before I condition, I always like to just like wipe the hairline a little bit just because, you know, sometimes with conditioner, you might like comb it through. They might sit there for a little bit and it's kind of uncomfortable to sit or lay there with like water in your ears. Like, I don't know. I personally don't like that feeling. So, and I just lightly towel dry. <laughs> that way the conditioner could like penetrate really deeply <laughs> what all right so again i'm using kevin actually Mark some conditioner is hard to spread unless so good. the hair is really so wet with conditioner you just put it on the ends put it on the ends of the hair there's no need to put conditioner on the scalp in fact if you do that i mean you're basically just your your shampoo is just not going to last as long so I'm not putting it like deep in her scalp. I'm just kind That's of. That's not like, why. Condition is just not made for the scalp. Mostly focusing on the ends, and then that you can Lord. get your white Lord. Tool, like this one, and then start from the bottom, and then just detangle the hair. <laughs> ah, she detangled straight hair. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hair. Oh man, this is funny. Also, you guys, like, make sure, I've seen, like, other um, people do this, like, make sure, like, hold the ponytail and work from the bottom. Because sometimes, like, you know, you could, like, pull your client's hair, especially, like, Bridget's hair is healthy, but sometimes, you know, if people have damaged hair or, like, bleached hair, it can get, like, extra matted. Especially blondes, their hair gets really, really knotted. You want to make sure you're not traumatizing your client, and then also... You definitely don't want to call me while it's soaking wet. <laughs> Wow, I'm really, I'm in awe that she's really sitting here combing this lady's hair.
Okay, I have seen enough. Condition. She ain't rinsing that good. She still got conditioner at the, in the in the kitchen. She ain't she not hitting that kitchen right. She is tight with conditioner. <laughs> I'll say this, it does spread really easy on straight hair, but yeah, she was kinda right. she could have used a little bit more. Out of the hair as possible, but don't like do this to the hair. Yeah, please process. don't. That's not so damaging. Pat dry, pat dry. Just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And oh, then, she, I don't. Mm, on, mm. You want to twist and put the hair, clip the hair up. She might need two clips because she has a lot of hair. You don't want to send your client going back to the chair with their hair dripping down their back. That's just like. Right. And then that's it. All right, so that is it for this video. If you have any requests, any questions, comments. Um, people always think I'm crazy when I say I wash my hair twice, but I knew I was doing it right. Now I know. It tells you on the bottom of repeat. This goes against what Brad Mundo told me. Oh my God, no wonder your biceps are popping. Now my hair feels filthy even though I just washed it. There should be deeper shampoo bowls for ladies with long hair. I agree. Thanks for saying finger pads, nails hurt. Hmm. Wow, that aggressive washing technique would rip out all of my hair from the root. What? What kind of sensitive ass hair and scalp do y'all have? A lot of people told me that about my shampoo technique too. But look, I can tell you, I haven't had any complaints. It's 12 a.m. So is it? Oh my God. How long have we been streaming? Two and a half hours? Oh, Lord. Y'all want me to watch the... Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, y'all remember I was telling y'all that certain people I just... I know, like, I just went in vibe with at, like, a YouTube convention. She's one of these people. I, I wouldn't... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, we did black girl curls in the beginning. Yeah, we did them already. They weren't they weren't saying nothing. Um Okay, so this was her only video that I've watched. Which one should we watch? Let's see hair tutorials. Trying a four strand braid. Flexi rod braiding for extreme volume. Uh, so I tried these waveformers. Uh, does she not do a lot of tutorials? These videos are old. Crayon video. Uh, not Viv. I love Viv. Viv is adorable. Well, yeah. Let's let's just say, if we was at a natural hair show, I I wouldn't. I would leave it at that. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, let's just go to videos and see what she has. Oh, 
Oh, this one? Okay. Welcome to another episode of I Thought About It. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And here we are now trying it. Hey beauties, it's Viviana oh, and let me turn it down a little bit. You already saw the title. I'm gonna be trying to use crayons to make hair gel. Just hear me out first, okay? Let me just explain to you guys what was going through my head when I thought of this idea, okay? So if you're not new here, then you would have known that I bought a product called Hair Paint Wax. So I bought all these from Amazon and I have the color red. And it's a temporary hair dye. Well, it's not really a dye since it doesn't actually change the color of your hair strands, but instead just covers it up with a color pigment, a colored wax. <laughs> Nobody thinks it's a temporary hair dye. I've done multicolored hair with it. I've tried mixing all the colors together and applying it to my hair. I know there are more things I did with it. I can't remember. I remember now. And I've also she featured it in me. most of my colors. She annoys me. Wax. Instead of crayons. Did you know that you could buy on Amazon an entire box of crayons? with only one color in and I had many colors to choose from but I decided to go with yellow because I don't know it's bright and uh, why not <laughs> Pens the chocolate from being heated too quickly and burning it I wonder Same if people feel like this when they watch my videos <laughs> cause sometimes I do be looking like I don't know who wow. be watching my videos wow what it's melting as soon as it touched the pot, it start melting. Is she gonna apply and this directly to her very hair? very little effort, we're pretty much done. And now we can just pour this molten crayon all over our head. Oh my God. Why? Why are we doing this? Yeah. Something like that. But without the clinking noise. Technically speaking, it can now be poured over my hair. However, the wax is hot and it would dry rock hard. Right. Like crayons. So we now have to come up with a way for the molten crayons to dry kind of semi-solid when it's cooled down. I can't be the only one who finds this exciting. I'm realizing there's a pattern with her videos. She keeps doing things with her hair. Like, I don't know if she just doesn't have an issue growing hair, but she just seems to do the dumbest things with her hair just just to do it, just cause. I'm just not, like why? Of butters and oils that were liquid and solid at room temperature. All right, we just go, we go. Oh. I thought I would actually smell the crayons more, but the shea butter is overpowering it. Oh, she mixed yeah. it with shea butter? It smells nice. All right, let's see. Wow, that is goes. vibrant. Hmm, that's different. Kind of feels like clay. Grainy? Well, like clay. For one thing, it's definitely not crayon anymore, so. He succeeded so far in one area. <laughs> so all that's left is to apply this to our hair and see how it works. I don't know why I'm procrastinating like this. Like, just dig in. Oh my goodness. All right. It's just... Butter, pig 
movement and wax. Can't be that bad. Hmm. I was thinking to just do my entire head, but I think I'll do some streaks. Maybe. Oh now she's just playing. Now she's just oh. having fun. Oh, what? <laughs> I love how it's turning what? green. What have I done? What have I done? Still a nice washable. I can feel this much. And because this is a oil-based mixture and not a water-based mixture, my hair isn't wet, but I want to sit under the dryer for a few minutes just to see how it would that shit go run set. Well, I like it though. So I really don't like how it looks over my black roots. It's like I'm getting a green hue, but... All right. Um, the amount of curiosity Viviana has should be illegal. Viv does a lot of crazy stuff to her hair, but this is the first time I genuinely got scared for her. When God was giving out curiosity, Viv joined the front, middle, and back of the line. Only Viv would do something like this. Okay, so she has a reputation. Okay. Hope this washed out. You are very brave. She is goofy. That's what she is. She's goofy. <laughs> like, there's no, like, you know, I try not to insult these YouTubers, but like, Girl, what what are you what are you doing? Like I just uh, okay. I I I just can't I I can't I can't co-sign this. Um one last video. <laughs> one last video. I can't do this. It's all about getting subscribers. Apparently, it's working. Bitch, I will never be this desperate. I will never be this desperate. What's with this relaxed edges? Which... All right, let me just see what, what comes up. This ain't nothing new to me. My cousin been doing this shit for for uh for years and now she's she stay asking me, how can I grow my edges back in? It's not growing back in, sweetie. It's gone. You burned it off. Like, it's not coming back. That's it. All for all so she could gel down her edges for some some wig or some half wig or something. <laughs> Alright. I um I think I've seen this situation. I don't wanna look at that. Oh, is this the same chick? Hold up. Hold up. Tyro, are you being held there against your will? No. <laughs> Do you want What to is happening with this edits? twist out? No. Let's oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, sorry. Let's go again. Let's go again. Script. <laughs> <laughs> hey, beauties. It's Viviana. And today, hi. I have a guest with me. <laughs> She's natural. And she has been natural all her life. She wants to relax her edges. So I said, okay. Why is she shaking her head no? She wants to relax her edges so much. I'm going to do it for her. 
Why would she just do it like, herself? Show you how you can relax your edges. Oh, I guess she's never done a relaxer. If you choose to, okay, and how to do it safely, and how to protect the rest of your natural hair, you know, so you can relax your edges and still be natural. Natural. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you can also color your hair and still be natural. Child, let us not start a comment. <laughs> okay. So for relaxing brush, hold on. With my brush hair to just neatly apply the relaxer to her edges. And of course, I'm going to put on gloves to do it because, you know, relaxers burn and we don't... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get the memo? Wait. Hold on. Wait. Sis didn't get the memo? I said it might burn my fingers oh. or under my nail bed, but it, it could burn your scalp as well, but not that bad. I mean, I am. Okay, the point is, we don't. Are you excited? Run now, girl. Run while you can. I'm excited. <laughs> my girl, is this still your edge? <laughs> Let me just take out a smaller piece because I don't I don't want to relax. I'm going to put the petroleum jelly right behind oh her Lord. edges. It's already to broken. The relaxer from creaming the rest of her hair, from straightening the rest of her hair. Is that Marcel wax? Oh, that's not what I want. I don't want baby hair. What you think this is going to do? Just when I catch up my hair, it will go in without me having to gel it. That's it. My edge is delayed. Yeah. Wait. What? Hold up. Oh, that's not what I want. I don't want baby hair. So, what you think this is going to do? Just when I catch up my hair, it will go in without me having to gel it. That's it. My edge is delayed. Yeah. Right. Um, and drop out because <laughs> your edges have a short life cycle, so they're literally going to just fall out within the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Bitch, what? I'm sorry. Look, I I tried I tried to hold off on the B words. What? A short life cycle, and y'all watching this girlfriend. I told y'all she goofy. I told y'all. And if you choose to, you can do it all over again. So, okay. I'm going to put on my gloves. So that means she could get a retouch in two weeks, right? Yes, you're going to relax your edges. This was so pointless. She don't even know what she getting herself into. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That shit almost got in her eye. That shit almost got in her. Just, just take a sip. Just take a sip. It's not. You 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 read it into this shit too seriously. Just you know what you're doing, right? Of course I know what I'm doing. I used to relax my own. Oh my god. Look how close that is. What a wrong move. That shit would have popped right there in her eye. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. She think this gonna help her ponytails? What I don't like is painting in one and having to go through the whole night routine where you put the eco styler in and then That's a night you're routine wrapping. For you? Yeah, girl. As in you put it in the night before? Yeah, because normally in the mornings it's um, it's so hectic I can't even. Oh, so, oh, oh, the time thing. Time, okay. yeah. So the night before, put it in one, wrap it with a scarf. And then she really think this go for like 24 hours it is 
play. Oh, know? it don't move. It don't move. Okay. But then to take it because my hair is so thick, mm -hmm. I apply a, a lot. Well, not a lot, but a lot of gel. A lot of gel, yeah. And a lot of effort. Yeah. Because then the whole. Thing I mean, technically, you cool. don't need gel, right? Yeah. I mean, she got but edges. Then, if, you know, the very next day, it is super thick. By the way, this is really long. Oh wait, what is stiff? After you put ego cell? Yeah, my hair is stiff. Well, what are you? What are you? Put a relaxer. Oh hair. my! <sighs> I'm in a happy place. I'm sniffing my eucalyptus oil. I'm in an Australian rainforest, climbing the trees with the koalas. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. She has relaxer on her eye. She got relaxer on her eye. <laughs> oh my goodness. By choice to put a relaxer on your edges. <laughs> Yeah, you won't experience this species or any other. At this point, we were so much in our conversation that I clearly forgot that I should be telling you guys what I'm doing. But at this point, I've completely applied the relaxer to all her edges. And now she I'm still ain't wiped the relaxer hair. off her eye. When you're applying a relaxer, you have to ensure to smooth down the hair afterwards to help along the straightening process. Because if you just apply the relaxer and leave it on the hair, it's going to remain curly. Wait, she got relaxer on the parts that weren't supposed to be relaxed. I guess since and she you know, based it, she feel like. Is it burning? Yeah, right here. Oh, got a request. <laughs> All right, I got you. Oh, that weird. Right here. Take a look at the jelly and put it on. Do I have to? Well, if it's burning. It's already burning. What is that supposed to do? No, no. Oh, Please. my God. What is happening? My own is she hair. gonna neutralize and I have it? I a video on that on how to relax your own hair at home, the safe way. You know, that's before I went natural. Yes. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll be leaving it down in the description box so you can watch it. And I also leave a link of it in the comment section as well. And so that we are clear, if you like to keep your hair nice and curly, nothing is wrong with that. All right, right, Taro? Right. <laughs> yes. Who are you trying to convince? You can do whatever you want with your edges. I'm just showing you all how to do it if you choose to do it. How much time I say that now? So many times, but it, it won't matter. There'll be somebody in the comment section saying, oh my god, why are you letting people... Why am I promoting why relaxing? Are you promoting relaxing, yeah. <laughs> yes, so... I thought you were team natural. I am team natural, I'm just saying. Why if do you, you hate your edges? <laughs> I thought you were natural. Hair. I'm showing you Goofy how ass. to do it. Good. That's not clear enough. It's not clear. It'll never be clear. <laughs> All right. So you just sitting there letting it over process? Amen. Let's go shampoo. Let's go shampoo. Shampoo. Oh, she's. Oh, God. Oh, shampoo. I, Ooh, shampoo. Yeah, I couldn't. Shampoo. I couldn't. <laughs> Basically, washed her forehead and face. And I could have breathed. <laughs> I mean, that's basically it. I was washing her face, but just wash higher up so as to get her edges, you know? Because we didn't want to wet up the rest of her hair, you know? She doesn't really like wash day. That's not true. Well, yeah. no, that is true. I hate wash day. Yeah. So I'm just going to brush in her edges with some gel and just show you how the final result will really be. Didn't she say she don't want to use gel? Oh, I have my edges brush. Ew, did you use that on yourself? I need a smooth up Why am I singing that song? Don't drop that sunset on. Why am I singing that song as well? Cause 
I don't know. So when you have that edge, I see edge brush. Yeah, toothbrush. My girl kept sound like it was like a specific brush for edges. A toothbrush. A specific for brush my for edges. teeth that you turn <laughs> into an edge brush. <laughs> Same thing. And the, her hair still blends in with her natural hair. Her newly relaxed edges blends in with her natural hair same way. No issues there. It's just that now she almost she lost an eye for what? For what? Like for what? For what? That shit oh, looks ugly. That shit looks ugly. So, uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs what up is that? She got and curtains on her forehead. Channel, be sure to check out the eye guys so you can get familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And I do show you how to style your hair and take care of your natural hair at home. If you like what you see, you can subscribe. <laughs> or if this is the first video of mine, you. Oh. Oh, small doses. Small doses. Okay. Um, Anita, what 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 are we watching, girl? What are we watching? Cause I already told you this was the last one. She does. She got curtains. She got curtains on her forehead. Honestly, that's what I feel like a lot of these baby hairs be looking like. I don't see the point. She she just looking mad. Like it just looks. It it just why does it look like it, like ain't it supposed to be straight? Why is it crinkling it up like that? I post girl, you posted a link where? Hold up, see where you posted it. You know I ain't looking at my phone, right? I don't see no link. Oh, Joshua with the trash emoji. Um, if you could, you mind posting it again because, uh, well. I've seemed to have misplaced it. <laughs> uh, I just saw when you posted the um the super chat, but I didn't see a link with it or a link thereafter. And I have it on live chat. I don't see it. All right, look, y'all figure that out. I gotta run to the little boys' room and get all this damn water. Got me pissing like a, a shit. What pisses a lot? A fish? I don't know. I'll be right back. You know, I forgot to um I forgot to ask how is everyone doing with this corona crisis? 
Is everyone good? Y'all got tissue? A racehorse pees a lot. Do they? I want to Google that. Does a racehorse pee a lot? According to Brogan's blog, racehorses are commonly given Lasix, which is a powerful diuretic. They pee a lot right before they race. We're talking gallons and gallons. Wow, they must be mad dehydrated. Spa closed until April 4th. That's what I heard. We done with her, right? Yes, we are done with Miss Miss Vivian, Viviana, Viv, 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 Vivana. We're done. We're done. Uh, okay, so we got a link now. Let me see. Wait, wait, did I see? No, that, that was my link. Okay. Okay. Is it not posting? What's the name of the video? Hold up, you losing weight? Uh, no. <laughs> No, why am I taking up all the screen? Like, big ass forehead. Um, no, I lost a few pounds, but it ain't, trust me. It ain't nothing to get excited about. This shit will be right back as soon as this uh self-quarantine, social distancing shit is over. Like, I'm gonna be eating my cheesecake and pizza again. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to conserve, I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to ration out my resources. Um, you getting ready for your skate video? Actually, I am. I am. Is no one seeing this link? Girl, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this How to Gel Your Hair by Alice Quinn. Who the hell is this? Why am I typing it like like she wrote a song or something? What what the what the hell is this? Oh Inner key. Do how to fade your hair instead. Oh, we dropping coins. We dropping coins. Is this him? Is it his video? Oh, this one. Okay. Are you tired of not looking cool? Oh my god. Like me? I mean, not looking cool. I am cool. I mean, are you tired of not looking cool? Like you're a cool guy like me? Well, I'm gonna help you fix your problem and help you to fade your hair. You're going to need a, a comb, elastic band. You can get this from your orthodontist. That's where I get mine. What? And a shoelace. Mine is Miss Piggy. And a razor shaver. And then, first step, get your comb and comb your hair. What is happening? A large, he got money. <laughs> Thank you, Laron. And then you get your elastic from the orthodontist and tie it off. This is so you don't shave your hair off just on an accident. 
Okay. Add one Wait, more time. he just has a tuft of hair in the front? Okay, this one's breaking. That's okay, because I've got more. No, I didn't steal it. Um, I'm assuming he's gay. Wait, wait, what, what's with the necktie? <gasps> and then get missed. Is he autistic? And then I don't want to make fun of him. I feel bad. Where like, you want I'm, your to be. So like it's one like, thing when you a goofy bitch and you trying to be a then, goofy bitch. But like, um, get your razor shaved. I shape just. Off. And start shaving. Let me just get this in frame. He seems like a nice guy. So he's using it as a, wait, what? What, hold up, <laughs> what's the point? This reminds me when I was shaving my hair off. How long is this? I like it already. Just keep going. Keep going. You can do it. Why does he look like that? Uh, wait, he can't see. What you about to do? What? Girl, what are you got us watching? Trust the process. He about to sell you some John B. Realness. Wait, why is he looking down? Is that where his mirror is? He cutting all this off anyway, right? Somebody help him! <gasps> Usually my mom does the back, so... Just feel it with your hands and you should get it even. No, get your mom! Get your mom! <gasps> Mommy! Help him! No. Them eyebrows is serious. And that's how you fade your hair. That's the first time I done it without my mom's help, but <gasps> I think I did pretty good. This isn't serious. This isn't. I need, I need more information. I need more information. How does he have a hundred over a hundred thousand? What does he do? I'm gonna show you how to gel your hair. So where did you, you get that gel, gel from? Just a little bit of gel, and then... Did his mom line him up? Did she fade him out?
What are you? His cut isn't even, even. He's pretend. Are you sure he's pretending? He looks spooked. How did we see now YouTube about to recommend all types of crazy shit? Thanks, Anita. I should have been in incognito mode. Oh, oh. Why won't his mama take him to the barber? Oh, there's a fly in his room. I remember I was watching this one video of these hairstylists sitting there talking about um, <laughs> women with natural hair and why they should be tripping about getting heat damage, getting their hair done or something. And then as they were talking, it was literally a roach crawling on the wall behind them. I was like, oh my God. And I tried to go back and find the video and find the roach. And I could not find it for the love of me. And I'm just like, how did you sit here, edit this video, post it on YouTube, and not see the roach on the wall? Anyways, I don't know why we're watching this. I don't know what, like, why are we watching this? Um, yeah. And I, I tried to go back and find the video, but... It was like 20 minutes long. I'm not about to sift through 20, 20 minutes just to look for a roach. Um, shit. Three hours in. Look, we in here. We in here. Who knows when I'm going to be back on. So, shit. Let's, let's go ahead and keep it going. Why am I, why am I doing that? I don't know. No, don't recommend this chick to me no more. No. Oh, not rosters. Okay. Scariest three. Oh, not this guy. Please do not recommend. Oh, I would watch this, but Vogel, like, they going to flag my video, so we just going to leave that alone. Y'all said nappy food. Okay. All right. What is she up to? Um, Jumbo bun on 4C. 4C wash, hair wash day, the best cleansers. Oh. Girl. No. That, that was not, no. Your hair was just not meant. I tried to slay a natural hair wig like a pro. Uh, is that a lace front? A ball cap method hat. Protect your edges. Lace wig. Ball cap method. Oh, she look a mess. She looks a mess. Um... You should be a guest on Queen's Court. No, sir. Not I, said the cat. Was it 22nd century woman with the roaches? No, it wasn't. 
I'm not going to call out the person because that's just tacky. I ain't going to put nobody out there like that. But there definitely was a rush. We was actually at the salon watching it, which was funny. We was at the salon watching it. I was like, hold up. There's a roach on the wall. <laughs> it literally, it crawled on the wall. It stopped. And then it just kept crawling. And I was like, did anyone mention the roach in the video? Nobody noticed the roach. Nobody in the comment section noticed the roach. All right. Let me just, let me watch something. Oh, she's she's playing with a lot of wigs. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Popular uploads. Hmm. These these screen captures. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm look. I need something a bit more recent. All right, so we'll just go to the uploads. I'm. I want something. I guess we'll do the wash day. Let's do the wash day. What's up, Team Kinks? It is Nappy Foo all up on your screen, and today is a that nap life video. I am coming at y'all with the wonderful wash day. I just love talking about wash day. Oh, that shit for look creamy. That is where healthy hair starts. Okay, well, besides what you eat and drink and all the kind of great stuff. So, starting with the scalp. Later on, we'll talk about the hair in another video. I want to talk about the best cleansers and the different type of cleansers you can use on your kinky coily hair. You ready? Nappy Foo checking in. Let go. I would love to play in her hair. Say clean up, clean up, time to clean that kinky hair. Clean up, clean up, time to clean the clink clink. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> time to clean that kinky hair. So is everyone go. doing this now? <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. The best cleansers. Let's get into it. Let me talk about what a cleanser, what a good cleanser will do. Okay, when your tell scalp me, has sis. received a good cleansing consistently, it will keep the skin clear of any obstructing clutter. Okay. You don't want things that will suffocate it. Okay. You want things that will allow your scalp to be healthy, which will also uh, cultivate an area for healthy hair growth. A good cleanser will also allow your kinks and your coils to be easier to comb. Why? Because the base, your scalp, is happy therefore it leads to things like easier to manage hair easier to comb hair easier or better yet better moisturized hair because it's nothing to clutter its entry okay and just overall like i said before it will make your kinks and quills more manageable so you don't have so many frustrating days okay a bad cleanser will give you frustrating days where your hair is just dry it's not acting right it's tangled up you like mm -hmm, she need a better nah, mic natural hair thing ain't for me no 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 let's take it back to wash day what you cleansing with, sis? Let's talk about the most popular type of cleansers, the Sud Suds gang, okay? Sud Suds. If it doesn't sud up, it means it's not cleansing. Not really true. Anyway, let's start with deep cleansers, okay? This is part of the Suds team. This is what Suds up. I just like saying the word Sud, Sud. Sud up, yo! Okay, anyway, sorry. Deep cleansers. I classify these as deep cleansers because they get on that scalp of yours and it leaves nobody behind. Everybody must go whether you are good or you are a bad one. You are out of there, okay? So these kind of cleansers are things like your um, clarifiers or mm -hmm. even cleansers that have sulfate in it, okay? I'm not a SLS shampoo user, but I'm fully aware that natural, some naturals still use it. This will be still considered okay, a what you use? cleanser, okay? I like to use, when it comes down to these type of cleansers that suds up at least, my favorite is black soap. It is sulfate free and it gets the job done without truly stripping how everything how that my scalp much we gonna look at this damn okay. shampoo? It just takes away what needs to be taken away. Oh, she is and chatty. Another member of the sud, sud, sud gang is Mild Mild cleansers, also known as moisturizing cleansers, okay? So these are cleansers that are typically SLLs free, so sulfate-free sulfate, sulfate free detergents. Okay? I don't know if so I completely agree with this. And scalp I, I'm definitely... It should not give you any of that. There are definitely a lot of mild cleansers that okay? contain it has those sulfates. ingredients to help condition my hair although it is cleansing it, okay? And it has pH adjusters to help balance the pH of the shampoo 
and prevent any unnecessary cuticle damage while I'm getting my, my wash on. You feel me? So these kind of cleansers, again, tend to be those moisturizing ones. It can also be ones that target certain issues like um, pro protein or like this one, Miracle Repair. Anytime you see something that says Miracle Repair or it says the words Repair, Reconstructing, there's most likely protein in it, okay? Between a moisturizing cleanser and a deep cleanser, which one can you use a lot more often? Definitely the moisturizing cleanser, okay? <laughs> uh, clarifiers should be used once every couple of months or so, you know? But moisturizing cleansers can be your... I don't know week. about that. I she's she she sounds like she's scared of hair. shampoo. You can use this all the time. All right, so next we're talking about the creamy but not so cleansing category. These are the ones that do not sud up, okay? Just call them not so squeaky cleansers. They don't squeak, squeak. They don't sud, sud. They don't clean. Not up. six However, in one. They no. Some even some scientists, hair scientists, which I definitely don't ever argue with them because you know they know their stuff. That's where I get a lot of my information from anyway. Say that they do, but. To me, these are just glorified rinse out conditioners. Thank but you. These are, okay. These are the type of quote unquote cleansers that is perfect for wash and go naturals. And I mean, but conditioners do have some cleansing ability, like but it's not. It's clothes. not going to get type of cleansers build up. It. And the way y'all be slathering right? gel yeah, and right. edge controls, it ain't getting that stuff right? out. These are the ones that. You have to understand it is best not to be used on your actual scalp. It's best to be used just on your kinks, just on your coils. If it touches the scalp, so be it. It's okay. You will, Your hair will not die. Just don't make it a habit. But I think they work a lot better, speaking from experience, they work a lot better when it's just on the hair because it really won't do as Why are we looking at your hands? Scalp. Like, your scalp be show me how this looks on your hair. You. And I have to worry about fighting off this thick cream that a lot of times have stuff on there that can suffocate your scalp. Does okay. she do conditioning? Single, what is she not doing? Not so squeaky cleansers. To me, perfect for wash and go naturals. What else is perfect is if you join Team Kings. Hello. No, I mean, no, cleansers, no. the ones that are from the Mother Earth, the ones that you be like, girl, what? Stop, what? stop, stop, stop. Apple cider vinegar is not a cleanser, people. It's not, it's not cleansing your hair. It's not a clarifier. It's not cleansing. It ain't it ain't doing nothing. Okay. It the most it's doing is rinsing out a little bit of topical debris and stuff on your hair. But um I think it was natural haven or somebody already debunked this. Okay. The apple cider vinegar isn't it's not pulling anything out. Too chatty. She is chatty, but she is giving a lot of information, so that much I can kind of appreciate. A lot of times with the people before that we were watching, they were chatting, but they weren't offering anything to get from the chatter. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just FYI. And then on top of it, I feel like Vin apple cider vinegar could um, help remove like certain types of um impurities and buildup but i think it needs to actually soak on the hair and then on top of that because it's so acidic it's actually kind of detrimental to your hair because of the ph levels and stuff but that's more along a sciencey kind of situation but i just say it's not a practical cleanser like what you put in your hair <laughs> Okay, I put them in my food, girl. This is your unusual cleansers, okay? I'm going to pick it off with ACV, which I'm only calling a cleanser for relatability, but it's really, it's not a cleanser at all, y'all. But it okay. is an antibacterial, which okay. makes a lot of look, us feel look, like, oh, it's right. cleansing something, girl. I appreciate it's definitely it. taking some stuff off your hair, that bacteria, okay? Which is very, very good to combine with actual cleansing products. I also have clays. Y'all know your girl love clays, starting with the Razul clay. Razul clay is equivalent to your moisturizing cleanser, okay? After you use it, you will have to question, did I really just clean my hair or what? You did, but it left some good stuff behind for you. Then you have the bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is equivalent to a clarifier. It takes everything that you had from birth out of your hair. Okay, let me stop. I'm sorry, y'all. It takes everything out, okay? It's more known as a detoxifier. Yeah, that's not necessarily true about the, the bentonite clay. It's not a clarifier, but it is a detoxifying agent. And what that means is it's pulling out um, mostly metals and impurities, but it's doing it because of the um, the... I can't remember if it's negatively or positively charged 
ions, but it's ions that are in the bentonite clay when it's activated with water. Um, it's drawing out those impurities and pulling it out, and then it takes it with it when you wipe it off. However, with clays, the thing with clays is that um, they do, of course, cleanse off some layer of like product or buildup or whatever, but they also leave clay deposits on your hair. So even though you gotten all the clay out, it's not all out of your hair. Um, so yeah, these are great to use as like a once in a while treatment or whatever. I'll say bentonite clay, if you're in an area that has a lot of hard water and you use hard water, it's really, really good for that. It's pulling out those minerals and stuff from the water that your hair has absorbed and accumulated over time. Um, they also have chelating shampoos for that. Um, I only know of one, and that's the Paul Mitchell shampoo. I think it's shampoo three. Um, that's good for people who uh, swim a lot. Um, and they need to get that chlorine out of their hair. Chelating shampoo is good for that. Um, they also have swimming shampoo, swimmer shampoo. And I think it's pretty much the same sort of situation, but yeah. And most of us know when we hit the words detox, that means it takes out every gunk, junk, clunk, bunk, all of that from your, in this case, from your hair and allows you to have a fresh new start. Okay. That's why I equivalate it, equivalent it, it's equivalent <laughs> to clarifier. It happens. Now, so when it comes to wash day, how do you know which one to use? Well, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret I learned a while ago. What you do, Moisturizing girl? shampoos, sulfate-free shampoos is the best way to go for a weekly or bi-weekly wash day regimen. I agree. If you're a monthly washer or a bi-monthly washer, you might Hold find up. yourself... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bi-monthly? There's people out here who don't wash their hair, but every other month? Like, I understand y'all do the, the cold washing and shit, but that's still too long. Preferring something that will take more dirt off of your hair. Something that's more heavy duty, a.k.a. the deep cleansers. But if you are a weekly, bi-weekly, a moisturizing shampoo or a moisturizing cleanser, a.k.a. like the Razul, is a light duty cleanser that will cleanse your hair gently without stripping it of its natural oils. And that's what you want out of a really good moisturizing shampoo. You know your hair... That's not necessarily true. A lot of those shampoos and stuff are uh, mixed with a lot of conditioners and oils already. So while it is cleansing off stuff off your hair, it's also depositing it as well. It's so. cleansed, okay, because your scalp don't itch anymore. You don't have that little stench, a little smell to it no more. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm like, you don't know. No, I, don't, workout, I okay? have no idea and what you you're know, talking about. And then you touch then your again, hair. I ain't got hair it no doesn't more. Feel like, it's, it doesn't feel like uh, hay. It doesn't feel like rubber. You know, you feel like, okay, it was cleansed, and I still maintain cleansing. I ACV again. After, Wait, hold on, what you do? At least. Go ahead and put your moisturizing shampoo or your moisturizing cleanser on top. It's a game changer. I'm telling you. You'll be like, oh, okay. And yes, even after I'm done with this wash day, and even, if I, even if I do ACV before, I ACV again afterwards for pH purposes. If y'all are looking for antibacterial and all of that, there's uh, various um, essential oils that you could just mix in with your shampoo. Like you can literally add a few drops of tea tree oil into your shampoo, peppermint oil, spearmint oil. Um, those are the only ones at the top of my head that I know are for a fact are antibacterial. But you ain't got to go to the route of using apple cider vinegar unless you want to. Honestly, I've... Bentonite clay is on co-wash status. Natural Hand and Bloom had a post on it. I believe it. I believe it. There's a person in these YouTube streets who shampoos her hair once a year. Hey, have fun with it. Doesn't Yachty say not to wash more than every three months? Yachty don't know what she's talking about. I already... <laughs> I already did a video of hers. I took your advice and started using Nizoral, and oh my god, my scalp is finally healthy! Yay! I'm glad. Oh, well. And now we have come to the Snapchat question of the day. You know, I can definitely tell you the best cleansers will be sulfate free. It will have cardiotic agents. It will leave your hair feeling cleansed but not stripped. And Wait, hold up. What was that word? You know, I can definitely tell you the best cleansers will be sulfate free. It will have cardiotic agents. Cardiotic, but okay. 
It will leave your hair feeling cleansed, but not straight. That just means it has conditioning agents. That's and all, all this other kind of stuff. But, you know, a lot of us naturals, we base stuff off of how it what means, <laughs> okay? So I want to know from you, what are the signs you look for that tells you the cleanser you just used is... Hold on, what is that? People be, people be making this hair stuff way too complicated. Way too complicated. Um, it's not that deep. All right, it is 1 o'clock, people. It is 1 o'clock. Um, last one. <laughs> last one, what we watching? What we going to end the night with? It's got to be a good one. Let me see. Let, let, me just, let me just type natural hair and see what comes up. Let me just see what comes up. Wow, really? Maybe because I watched it. Slick bun on short natural hair. Technically, your hair ain't really short. It's more medium length, but... Quarantine party. Christy Gior. Glam fam did a diva curl video. Uh oh. So, ooh, y'all be messy. Ooh, y'all be messy. All right, let me see. Let me see what we got. Let me see what we got. This one? My thoughts on diva curl in their seven page. What did they say? I got him mixed up with someone else. He didn't like Will on a Will. It's not that. Okay, all right, maybe it was, maybe it was. Uh, let me go back. Oh my God, these people are messing up my my search results. Maybe Voldemort was right. The search engine optimizer. Oh, I know, let's watch a review. Okay, natural hair. Product review. Eh, no, no. Is there? No, 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 no. Who is this chick? She be popping up on Instagram all the time. Um, Taraji. Hair product, melanin, Taraji. That girl seriously had a mint. Oh, who? Have you seen Eco Styler's Unicorn Glitter Gel? Lord, women too old for that. Leave that for the kids. All right, y'all said pattern beauty. Okay, we, let's let's do it. I guess. Hell no, hell no. I've seen this already. I tried watching her before. That didn't really work out too good. Y'all said I need to give her a chance. Y'all said I need to give her a chance. So you know what? Do I want to give her a chance? I will watch this, but he he edits too much. It'd be too much in his videos for me. She already made extra. Who? I actually like her. Let me see. What's she up to? Hey, what up? It is your girl, MD. And today I'm excited to be trying out Pattern Beauty by Tracy Ellis Ross. If you haven't heard by now, she created a hair care line geared towards 
3B to 4C hair, which is pretty exciting when you think about it. I ended up getting the shampoo, conditioner, the leave-in. All of her products are paraben free and color safe. She Wait. also has two oils, a brush, a hair clip, and Wait. a fiber towel. Hold so on. I ended up getting- What eyeliner y'all be using that don't wash off? Is it like a specific type? Cause Lord knows. Lord knows when I used to try to put that eyeliner on, it used to take me 30 minutes. And bitch, maybe because I was using the pencil. I, I guess I need the liquid liner. Shh. The hydrating shampoo, so she splits the product. Oh, this is a up quick video. Okay, we type. can watch another no, one after this. Totally 4B, 4C. Those are the products that I ended up Wait, there's up going waterproof? With. As you can see, it takes no time for the shampoo to lather up. If that is something that you're not a fan of, maybe this isn't for you, but I also didn't feel like it stripped my hair at all. It actually left my hair feeling extremely hydrated, even though it does have that lathering, cleaning sensation. So according to the back, it's creamy boosted with- Hold on y'all, I hear somebody in my household yelling. Let me go. <laughs> Sit tight, I'll be right back. No worries. They just on the phone and hella loud. Wait, where? Why am I not coming up? Did I break my webcam? No, it works. Why am I not? Oh, okay. There we go. All right. <laughs> with a blend of glorious oils our hydrating shampoo gently lathers to clean your hair and scalp and remove buildup without stripping any moisture hair is left hydrated no, i was trying to put the webcam back on it wouldn't come back on conditioning products okay my curls are already looking super defined and i don't typically experience that post shampoo so we're already off to a good start. I mean, so now I'm going to be grabbing the heavy conditioner. Your hair just looked like the tight, to be honest. Pattern, but I just, I don't know. I like having thicker products just because I have a lot of hair and I have thick hair. So I decided that this would be just a better idea to go with this one for me. But first thing, I was already shocked to see how thick this conditioner is. Like, honestly, my mind was blown. I've never had a conditioner this thick in my entire life. So according to the back, smooth and buttery, our heavy conditioner is ideal for coily and tightly textured hair types looking for serious hydration detangling slip and lasting definition made from a supple blend of moisture rich ingredients like shea butter avocado oil so it makes it really easy to finger to tangle again make it, might as well show a titty she is not as far as look. Scent, it's not very overbearing or much of anything she got her like, suit I didn't feel like any of the products had a very super strong scent it's pretty I don't subtle. Like it. you can also use this conditioner as a deep conditioner or a repairing mask so i'm going to let it sit in my hair for about 20 minutes and then rinse it out. Dang, she make any product look good. 
because there was a day I don't always these wash my hair in sections, but I will say that it makes things a lot easier just because of the amount of hair that I have, and I feel like Wait, I'm just more efficient she does, when I do do it this way. So why not do problem, the same process on both sides hair, first? Washing it in sections is always a great option. I know I already said this, but I honestly can't get over how defined my hair is just after shampooing. Now I'm just going to apply the conditioner. People be so easily impressed. Oh my God, curls! I love it already. <laughs> this is what my hair looks like after letting it sit for 20 minutes, looking nice and luscious. It looks like she had no issue with it. Out like normal. See, I can dig this straight to the point, not all the extra fluff. This is how I would still do my videos if I still did hair videos. Anything would work on that. So my curls are already looking pretty defined and hydrated. The final product that I'm going to give a try is the leave-in. According to the website, Ooh, she stays serving face though. Restorative hair pick me up. So it's lightweight and it's going to help Wait, seal. Wait, is that leave-in? It is. Okay. I mean, I feel like Tracy and her, like, they could have a situation going, you know what I'm saying? She could be a, a brand ambassador, because she making the these products look good. Compared to the side that I didn't. I know this is not a styler, but I was interested in seeing what my hair would look like with just applying this to my hair. So, no gel, no nothing. I washed, conditioned, and then applied the leave-in. I'm gonna let it dry and see what happens. So my hair is 100% dry and look at how good it looks. Typically after washing and conditioning my hair, I have a very dry, undefined fro sticking on the top of my head if I'm only applying leave-in. So, so far for me, this is very impressive just because my hair never looks like this. It's set really bit. well. I'm excited to see what other products she's gonna roll out with. I would definitely recommend giving them a try. You can always go and pick up the travel size if you wanna just try it before you kinda spend all of your money and go all in. Let me know if you have given pattern beauty a try and what are your thoughts what are your thoughts about tracy throwing her hand in yours is the first positive game? review i've I think seen it's very organic i think the line is better suited for looser curl patterns like yours <laughs> everyone i've seen with a lighter pattern tighter pattern so didn't i'm excited like to it. see where she takes us okay that is it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like always i love you i appreciate i don't you. know i don't time. know it looked like her hair liked the products it look like it like it. Hi, you're my favorite YouTuber. Love you. Do it. Never stop. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to watch one of these Power in Your Curl. Did somebody recommend her? All right, let's watch. Wait, oh, 28 minutes. Nah, I ain't got that kind of time, sis. I ain't got that kind of time. It's already been five months since her product came out. All right, let, let, I'm going to just watch. See, her video, 22 minutes, though. Who got that kind of time? It don't take that long to review. So, okay, all right. appreciate you you know i do curl 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 welcome back for another video my girl huh what's pop a locking how you feeling how you living today huh how's your day going tell your girl down below in the comment section okay talk to me all right so y'all already know what the video's about so we're gonna jump right into it unless you can't read that's all right huh i got your back too I'm going to be reviewing Tracy Ellis Ross' all right, all right, new right, song pattern beauty. We all know about it. It's done went all over the internet. Grand, because I guess they have two different textures. If I remember the, uh, the video or who I watch, I'll go through my history and like link them down below. But that's the only person I actually, okay. 
That's the only person I actually watched, um, and they were hilarious. Um, but uh, yeah, so now it's my turn, and it's gonna be an honest review. I personally love the package. All right, super cute. You know, durable. I had to. I like simplicity, so I am team this. Okay, I think this is. Am I the only one that doesn't like the packaging? I don't really, I don't really care for it. So cute. This is a brush, I'm saying, I love the packaging. I'm, I'm team packaging. I love the pack. What, what is with y'all in the packaging? Who gives a fuck about the packaging? Does the shit work? I could care less with the bot, like as long as the packaging ain't making it difficult for me to get the product out. Like, I just feel like what, like y'all stay trying to boost the shit up. But what? It's a basic ass motherfucking brush. You saw the packaging. It's 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 so durable. It's so sturdy. I just I love the colors. It just makes me happy to be natural. What the, the, come on, man? Come on. Yeah, this is it. Sis figured it out. It looks good. Handle design. Dishangling hair. It's a divot brush. It's literally a divot so brush. Built in premium features and a comfortable handle design. Dishangling hair becomes effortless. It's a divot. Looking up. Wash and go today. So let's get this video started. Um, girl, how, how long? Five minutes in. Let's get it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Right. It smells like lotion. You know, like that generic lotion? That's what this smell like. I thought it was gonna have like some type of special scent. Come on, HD. Come on. Like, oh, that's a Tracy Ellis. You know what I'm saying? But no, I don't think sis did that. It was simple. Is this how y'all shampoo y'all hair? Or, you know, a hotel. You know, most hotels. What is she doing? Real. And you know what? She could have did that on purpose. That for people that are like sensitive to smells or something. Girl, what is you it's talking about? Okay, so I have the hydrating shampoo. Um, it says that it gently cleanses the hair and hydrates the hair. It's great for curly, coily, and tight textures. Um, a luxurious oil boosted shampoo that gently lathers to cleanse hair and scalp, remove and build up without stripping. Did you put hair. enough? Either your hair real right dirty. Here. So basically, massage it through my scalp, wash it a second time. Pro tip, it's refillable and eco-friendly. That's nice. Oh, you ain't impressed with that, but you like the packaging. No, no, it actually smells you, you, better you than you my You're so impressed hair. by a bag in a box. I've never experienced anything Girl. like Girl. Um, so it's definitely not like a co-wash or anything. No problems with that. I think well, my hair thing, well, my hair washed and rinsed and all that. Okay, well, bye. The shampoo was easy to rinse out, no problems with that. This is what my hair is going on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that shit looks dry. Soft. I mean, you can tell my hair is soft. Like, it's wet. See the bounce? It's okay. wet. It's okay. calm down. Calm well, down. It's wet. Down. Calm um, down. That shit still looks dry. It's hard to push out. And it's still hard. So, this is pretty thick. That's a tiny ass. They all smell the same in my little opinion. tube. Um, but yeah, this is. Oh. Uh... Uh. I had to give y'all some type of sound, <laughs> but y'all can hear like stick. You can't get it out. Now, wow. One thing I think the girl said wow. in the video I did watch is that this worked better. I believe it was they were talking about the conditioner. I was half watched. I have watched because I like I said I didn't want a full opinion on it. Um so I don't my thoughts would be Stop wet. dragging her. Who dragging her? When your hair is still wet, okay? So Ain't nobody dragging in. nobody. Oh, y'all be sensitive yeah, about y'all YouTubers. I actually really do need a I hope y'all fight this hard for me. All right, y'all know how we do. <laughs> Have you bought it? What you think? Let's soak that hair up. A little bit more. Let me go to a smaller section just, just in case, you know. What the hell? It's just, for one, it's such a sturdy brush. Um, and if, I feel like, yeah, if you don't work in small sections and your hair being for real wet, you wouldn't like this. I think too, I wouldn't even use this for a um, hell no. A perm rosset. It's just, it's 
a lot. <laughs> you, it, it's like right, breaking so six so rows of, of combs through your hair. With just a little bit of product. Y'all, look at this acne bumps. It's so rude. It never actually like came out. <laughs> um. um. No slip at all. Um, even when my hair is super wet, it's not, there's no slip. The way that um, other so girl, Melissa, we're just gonna see, that like, thing just know, ran through her curls. Afterwards. Brush, can't do the same, cannot do the same. Lisa's getting through, ooh. First off, how you got a, a fucking stiff ass, hard to brush through brush, and then you got a damn conditioner they ain't got no damn slip. What the hell? Do you want people to rip their hair out? Ouch. I know that hurt. I can I feel it. I it would do really well, the conditioner added with some oil. Um, no, I it don't need oil. oil so it needs water. It needs water. It's, it's, you're literally putting a paste on your hair. It's like a step below a damn wax. I don't want to mix too many. Yeah, this is how it looks if I didn't add any water. Oh my God. <laughs> like I'm saying, for the items that I'm using from the collection, this is the last one on the list. Which is too much to have to like- It is refreshing in, to see tangle, someone, you know, so bare stay, faced. Like, we're Doing a hair video because it seems like everybody stay with the, the full us, beat. We don't want it. It's creamy, so this came out nice. Uh, Just to leave in. In my opinion, everything to me, like I said, smells the same. I put all that. This feels good. Okay, kind of wish the conditioner felt like this. Like the conditioner felt the condition that combats dryness and enhances the curls pattern. Applied to soaking wet hair. I, so I do like the leave-in conditioner so far. Um, it feels good on my hair. I'm gonna put a little bit on as I go. I'm not gonna put it. I'm, so we're gonna use that in um, the leave-in. Oh, and she loved this gel. And then, yeah, just watch. Let's just watch. And sit back and watch. Hopefully I find a good beat to put to it. Okay, great. Yes, for the audio belt. You know what? As much as I don't care for your videos, I can appreciate the superb editing of the audio balancing. So now we ain't reviewing the products, we, we reviewing your gel in this leave-in cause she ain't got no damn style. So too bad. You keeping that picture? What the hell? Surprise, yes. Look at this. You still using this damn brush? I guess she got to since she bought the oh, shit. Whoa, she did something for that leave-in. I still can't use it by itself, but she did something for the leave-in. That's talking. All right, I'm sit back down. Let me actually ask what, what products you using. Well, that's not like the full size, but like I said. Oh, Lord, I wish I had hair so I could like, <laughs> so I could do these damn product reviews. This shit, oh. You know, back when I used to do hair videos, I was always like pressed for time. I was in school, I was doing hair. So I was never really able to like put the time I wanted to put into editing my videos. If I really like did that shit full time, do it with your beard. That would be funny. I do want to actually start doing a uh, beard product reviews though, but. Oh, uh, you don't like her. I love her videos. Her our, her personality just doesn't mesh well with me. That's all. Yeah, it's not that she's not a likable person. Like, I just, I'm very picky about videos. Oh, I edit my videos to this song. Sometimes it makes me want to twerk. And it just gives me that second wind to keep editing. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the leave-in conditioner, everything is $25. So even the serum is $25.
Um, so that's how I was just like, ooh, 25? The five, zero. Five, five, six, seven. How many products? With um, buying something offline, uh, with me having a high potential of me having to like return it or something, I went ahead and bought the small size because I was like, well, if it doesn't work and now I'm stuck with this large, you know, full size product, I'm being mad. So I did like the fact that she gave the travel size um, option, but it is also good that she's available in Ulta Beauty. So I can go in there and get the full size. My birthday is April 19th. Is she giving her final thoughts? 30 brush. So maybe $17 is worth it. It's a nice 30 brush. Um, I had to go out order. Leave-in is number one. Why is, no one's, is number two. why is no one saying the obvious? It's a dimming brush. It's a brush that's already been done before. It's nothing special about the brush. You already got a dimming brush. There's no point. It's the same fucking brush. Two. Shampoo is number three. And then the heavy conditioner is number four, if I had to rank them. Oh yeah, so there's no product residue. It all mixed well together. Um, I don't see any. Oh, look at you planning your videos. I see you, girl. You gotta do the room tour. You gotta do the car detailing. What else you gotta do? You you gotta learn, learn something with a ball. Okay. Anything, right. I think this should dry really nice. My hair looks so juicy, like, juicy. Like, <laughs> so that's good too. Um, we're in the clear, okay? That shit ain't fully dry. All aboard, all aboard. That shit ain't fully dry. Huh? Thank you for responding, you're welcome. Girl, 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 girl. I only find this video educating a little entertaining. Okay, I don't know why we're still watching this. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to our Natural Hair Watch Party. Um, we definitely will do this again soon. It's been way too long. Um, but um, y'all probably will see me next week. Y'all probably see me next week because, I mean, the rate we going, they talk about shutting down America and you know what I'm saying, like keeping people in their house. So I mean, I ain't gonna have nothing else but time. You know what I'm saying. So <laughs> let's hope it don't come to that. Um, y'all be safe out here. Y'all wash your hands. Uh, practice social distancing. Uh, you know, uh, look, even if it's your family member, you know, you gotta you gotta put some space between me, bro. I don't know where you. You know, I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, even my sister, I haven't even seen my sister in like, shit, it's been like a whole damn week. But shit, I don't, I'm like, you, I call her, she partnered up with her friends. I'm like, girl, you know, there's a virus going around. Like, what the hell is you doing? Like, you can't tell these young people, but it's all good. <laughs> you taking clients? No, I'm actually, um, I'm actually on break because my, my hands are healing. For my um my dyshydrotic eczema, so hopefully I can go back in um in April because I miss doing hair. I do. I miss my clients, but <sighs> all right, y'all. Y'all have a great night, great day. I will see y'all later in the next one. Thank you so much again for watching, and until the next one, be blessed, be safe, wash your hands, stay away from that corona. And um, stay indoors. And um, what else they say? Don't don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Even though I probably was doing it the whole time in this video. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Good night.